let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear me I thank you kid pro quo for the tier 3 resub of 65 fucking months thank you so much man hello Kyer, hello bunyip abyssal spirit fakie salison penguin question mark Real winner sleep, Jess Long, Otaki, it's me your dog, um, augmented twitch.tv, Draconite, Bleep Werewolf, Third World Weeb, Satu, Mothman, Transcending Gauss, Dianin, Minx, Scooter, Proactu, Machine Gun Weasel, Gumjar, King, Donut Killer, Avi Darling, Skiui, Danky, BI Pizza, Glitch Wizard, Delta Wave, Empty Perspective, Duckworth, Ghosterson, Bunyet, Otterbug, Lunk and Pert, Energy Peachy, 910, What's up, fellas? Hopefully your cocks are doing well tonight. Hello, Turtle Pool. Steve N. Loy V2. Golden Plato. Got the double. Hello. Yeah, I just woke up like an hour and a half ago, so I'm still, still getting into gear. I'm tired. I can't believe I slept as long as I did. Hello, Hoips. Hello, Most Creative Name. Hello, Bruce. Omega. Yeah, Godzilla... He's been through a lot of shit between the uh, the man in the suit and now having strokes, trying to read things and dying. It's uh, it's a dire timeline for our friend Godzilla. Still, Mister Sleepyhead. Yeah, dude, I am I'm completely out of it right now, so I apologize. I was out of it yesterday, but I'm even more out of it today. Sent you a picture of that shirt if you wanted to share with the class at any point. Okay, thank you, baby. A little splitting, evolved. Charizard, Monochrome, uh, Domino. Uh, actually, no, I take back the hello to Domino. The last thing I remember you sending me is I was streaming VR chat and you called me an ape because I wasn't responding you to you in Discord while I was streaming. So actually, like, no hello to Domino. Like, the opposite of a hello to you. Hello, 13C, a regular mat. Tomato is a fruit. Salty macaroni. Hydrophilic toaster. Just a robot mom. Linux. Dampy. Pop tart. Turtle pool. Thank you for the 14 month resub. Appreciate it. Hello, Lit Rock. Tyrone. Demarcus Williams the third. Scully. Soli. Igrizar. I found out they can stick a microwave probe directly into tumors and fry them instead of surgical removal. I'm trying to see if they can stab me with the nuke stick. It sounds awful, but I think it's funny. Some people, when they're faced with, like, really horrible situations, the only thing they can do is laugh. I think I'm like that, too. Like, at some point, the only power you have is to just laugh at something. Hello, Microtonal Matt. The pollen is fucking me up right now. My, uh... I think my air filter broke. There's too much dust in my room. Maybe I just need to clean the motherfucker out. Deserved, though? Yeah, you definitely don't deserve acknowledgement. I agree. Hello, Cool Kai. Hello, Bruner. Hello, Hairline Final Frontier. Hello, Ty81. Torpal Duck. Box Tofu. Tally Tenenbaum. Yasami. Apple for Apples. What did you eat after yesterday's stream? I went to Whataburger. And the line, like, I forget that, like, going to Whataburger prior to 3 a.m. on a Saturday is suicide, but I was so hungry. I waited around 45 minutes to an hour to get my uh, fucking order. But. I guess I go there enough that I'm, I'm saying my order, I'm saying the burger, and they're like, and with a, they, they respond like, you want a Diet Coke too, right? I'm being profiled by these fuckers who work at Whataburger now. Maybe that's good, though, because maybe they'll get to a point where they'll know that I really do not want onions on those motherfucking burgers. Tolo, would you let Baba D from Dragon Ball Z control you if he promised you great power? No. That's, what good is power if you don't even get to be in control of your body? That's the most asinine thing I've ever heard of. You're wondering if you're a real winner yesterday. I can tell you with confidence that you were in fact a true winner. Well, well, thank you. Sadly, I'm going to miss Bingo tonight. Planned on seeing the Dune movie tonight. Starts at 10 p.m. Might catch the tail end of the stream, though. That's good. You should go out and do things. I hope you enjoy the movie. Hello, Matoko. I put a successful bid on my house. Congrats, dog. Making big moves. Hello, Mooksie. Hello, Mihawk. Hello, Blue Hat. Thank you for the 57-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you for the continued support, Mr. Goblin Man. Hello, Rob Bagel Eater. Woodkin. Think I got everybody? Maybe. Hello, Yaminski. 
I'm still, I have to, I'm doing so bad with chat that I'm having to scroll manually down. So you're gonna have to give me a moment to catch up to everything. It's not a delay. The last time this happened, people thought there was a chat delay. I'm just slow and old now. Just got the new capacitor, so it's too late to install. Still have a chance to kill myself before the next stream. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I believe. Play Morrowind and fulfill my dream. Dog, you know, I'm not really one to question the dreams of other men, but uh, that's a bizarre dream, brother. I'm... I, we're playing Skyrim soon. That's pretty close, right? That's basically Morrowind. Stop going to McDonald's after the dude started saying hello to me every day like he knew me. Well, he seems like a nice guy. It's the manager over there, and he, um... I don't know. He's he's nice, but it is a little... I don't know. I'm not used to people just being nice for no reason. Hello, Surdy. Hello, Kratok. Cat Chat. Valkyries. My printer leaked again, but I got the last print, but now I can't cure him, and it's been raining for the past three days. Yeah, I got a, I got a airbrush like almost half a year ago, and I, it, the instances of weather where the humidity and the temperature and everything is, is acceptable to start doing that kind of thing, it's not very frequent. Hello, Lonkin Islander. Hello, Trinis. Just came back from doing things, so now this is where I'll reside. Thank you, Bunyip, for gifting a sub to Woodkin. I appreciate it. Hello, John Wayne and Crescent. Excuse me. Hello, Cracky Poppy. Zaris. 13C. Sushi Fish. No Nut. A Rumbles. You could overcome bad D's control and retain your power if you have enough mental fortitude. Do you think... Uh, when you think of me, do you think of a man of high mental fortitude? I would be surprised if there were too many people saying yes. I don't know if I am exactly the... like. You, you don't open the dictionary to mental fortitude and see a picture of me there, right? It's like dollar store moral wind. I mean, yeah, but, you know... Hello, Ghost by Go. Tamriel Rebuild Dream Stream one day. My first name is on the pickup order, so he uses my name. Yeah, sometimes they ask you... Like, who is this order for? And, like, one time I got hit with that and said my name is Kyle. So they know I'm Kyle now. And it's weird that they remember that when it only happened once. Hello, Half Talon. Hello, Pit Panther. Did anyone enjoy any green food today? No. I had two chicken sandwiches and that's it. Hello, Rod M.U. Ghost by Go put a spotlight video of Arthur dies in the forest and I got hit by the nostalgia homies. It's really kind of disgusting that you can say there's things that are nostalgic relating to this stream, you know? It's not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. But it's weird that that's like something that induces nostalgia in people. I bet there are a couple who feel that way about fear and hunger at least. Hello, Reapy. Hello, Foxinator. You beat Giraffe Town? But Giraffe Town's easy as hell. What do you mean? Hello, Oikress. Uh, thank you, Flame Resistant, for the 37-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, Fran Luma. I don't know if it's mental fortitude, but you can be extremely stubborn if you put your mind to it. That's because every man can do whatever he wants within reason, unless you're, unless you're uh, restricted by some sort of genetic destiny. But most things in life, if you really want to do it, you probably can if you are persistent enough, if you're stubborn enough. Just got home from shopping. Hello, hello, light. Hello, dotted ant. Everything I ate for dinner was green. I saw that picture of the uh, the dinner your wife made. It looked like some Stardew Valley recipes. It looked really fucking good. I don't know. I, I would try it, but I, I don't know how I would feel if presented with something like that. Because on one hand, it's all like... There's like dandelions and, and vegetables, but it also looks really fucking good. They got green flavor shit on them, sour cream and onion chips. Ugh. Ugh. Feel nostalgic about nose? Yeah. I'm sorry if you hear my, my dogs in the background. They're having a dog brawl. Hello, Colonel Martyr. I yearn for the days of pre-COVID. It almost feels like a, there was a, a big shift in everything after COVID, huh? I mean, obviously, but more... 
in terms of just like the general way in which people act and treat each other mcchicken is visually gross but delicious the mayo i don't know if i've actually had a mcchicken which is uh i think i've had like a bite of autumn's nice fishing shirt thanks bro I do admit I feel nostalgic about not knowing what the hell was going on with Fear and Hunger and that initial discovery. Yeah, and you get that sometimes with things like Worm Game or Shipwrecked, or even to a lesser extent, whatever the fuck we played last night. I'm still thinking about that goddamn cave. So, hello, yo-yo. What's up, dude? For the worse, unfortunately, a lot changed in COVID times here. There are better sandwiches even on McDonald's menu. Yeah, my golden chick chicken sandwiches are my baby. I'm not. I will accept no substitute. I'm busting into treats. The goon caves. Yeah. Yeah, the Daisy talking about the lolly goon caves left an impression on you, huh? Swollen to bursting until I'm disappearing on purpose. What a title for a game. I think my initial... um thoughts about the name of the game were seemed like they were not entirely misplaced like you're you're emotionally swollen till bursting till you can't take it anymore and you leave and start a new life or something like that it's uh what a fucking weird ass game i need to go back to that i don't know if i'm gonna stream it again but i want to want to dig my toes into it a little bit more so to speak thank you anonymous for gifting a sub to pop tart the king i appreciate it thank you I'm the same way, Ghost. I associate games, music, TV shows, fuck, eras of the stream with, like, the general environment, vibe, attitude of whatever is happening in my life at that moment in time. So, I get it. I have associations like that as well. I think, uh, you know, admittedly, I do think Morrowind is an amazing God-tier game, but... uh I think there is definitely something to be said about me having a lot of positive associations with that game. There's nothing like getting Morrowind from the blockbuster and playing it only to have it seized by your mother because she caught you killing women, taking their clothes off, and masturbating to their corpses. It's just, uh, you know, childhood, right? The the youthful innocence of childhood. There's something uh, something magical about it. <laughs> Hello, I like to paint. Hello, Arrow Kitsune. Thank you for the 74 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. No, yeah, it smells too, kid. Yeah. Hello, I eat apples. Hello, heat of milk wing. Let me think of some smells for me. Hello, Wrighton. I think, in general, the single smell that puts me on edge more than anything is the smell of cigarette smoke. I think that is the worst fucking smell for me for a variety of reasons. I cannot do cigarette smoke. Like, I'm not going to sit there and whine to someone smoking a cigarette. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. But it, it puts me on edge in a way that um, uh, most things don't. Hello, Jiggly. Fond memories of le reaching for my Diet Coca-Cola can and taking a sip only for it to be a surprise ashtray. <laughs> Good times. And when I was a kid, that was before smoking was banned in every fucking restaurant. So you just go into like like the Outback Steakhouse and it smells like a fucking furnace. I definitely do not miss those days. Hello, Vajaka. I thank you, Knox Streaming, for the four-month resub. Bro found the House of Earthly Delights. No, I made my own. I went to like Talvani and killed people. The cig stink and the smell sticks to everything for an annoying amount of time. Yeah. And it was rough because when you're a kid growing up with like heavy smokers, um, you don't realize it because you're no you're nose blind to it, but you get treated differently by the other kids because you smell like a fucking ash golem. You smell like you smoke cigarettes because the smell is just everywhere. Um, so not a big cigarette fan. I don't talk about it too much, I guess, but one of my least favorite things, cigarettes, particularly the smell. Grew up around it for my mom and grandma for 18 years. Cigarette smoke smell gives me a headache. It makes me sick. Has the Arthur Dies in the Forest Dev made any other game? Yes, they sure have. And we played it and I got close to being banned because one of the things... They had like overt racist caricatures in the other game of theirs I played. So I decided to stop playing games from that dev because I didn't really... Uh, you know, they, they, they went overboard 
a little too often. Even in the Arthur Dies in the Woods, there was some stuff in that game that was fucked up. Also, Autumn surprised me this morning with this shirt. Now I'm going to wear this, and I'm sure some old people are going to come up to me and start talking to me about fishing, and I'm going to go on about, like, Stardew Valley fishing mods. Sure, it's going to be a delightful convo. XX Squidward, XX Sans Undertale has cancer and fucking dies ASMR. Yeah, I like his uh, videos more at this point. What's going on, Hubert? How are you, dude? Hello, Sky Beast. Really wish fishing was profitable in RS3. Time to play an Iron Man, dude. Does it say what a stupid question? It does. It does. Wear that and the rat mask while doing a Stardew fishing stream. I mean, I'm not ever going to have a webcam on me when I'm doing a stream. That would be... I honestly don't know how people do it. I'd be so, like, self-conscious of my body language while on camera. Like, gotta make extra sure not to pick at my nose or something. Don't scratch your balls, Tolomeo. <laughs> it really seems like... I know a lot of people like, oh, you guys gotta sit and just, you know, be a pretty lady and sit on the camera and get the donos. But being on a camera kind of fucking sucks. I don't, uh, I don't envy that at all. Hello, Damiaz. That would make me about a thousand times more nervous. Always. How would they know? Well, in, in the situation where I did have a webcam, they would probably know. I mean, you can see what my arm is doing. Even if you can't see the general region of my groin, if I put my arm down and start, like, doing a scratching motion, it's not exactly, uh, gonna take a philosopher to find out what's happening there. See, the VTuber was caught scratching her pussy flaps while wearing a full body tracking suit. That's a that's an op. That's an op. One hundred percent. I I believe that was that's a false flag. That that was intentional. That's viral marketing. I don't think that's a, oh gee was, did I do that? Was I scratching my pussy flaps? Tee hee. That's not something that happens. Like you, it has to be like a. Uh, it has to be a play to get their name out there. I will ban you if you name the streamer who did this. Because that means you'll be advertising for them. I wish there wasn't so many regulations on fishing. Like, you, can, you can't catch a red snapper to protect the species, but the mega corporation can catch as much as they want. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you. I, I agree that it is pretty bullshit that we don't have to... Uh, we, do, we don't hold corporations to the same set of rules that we hold individuals, despite the corporations being people or whatever, right? Hello, King Akiran. Very rarely is a square blocking the game engaging to me. Some people are good on camera. No, I agree. It's something I've talked about before. I think there are some people who will do much better with a camera, and then there are people like me who will do much better without. Because camera... If you're just sitting there like a golem staring at the screen, barely moving at all, it's like you're detracting from the experience, honestly. I, I really do believe that. But there are some people where even if you're not the best looking person on earth, you you do a lot of the nonverbal communications. You, you uh, have a very expressive face. You do crazy shit with your hands and it adds something to the experience. But not everyone is like that. Not everyone is a is a master of nonverbal cues. So corporations are people. The Nestle should get capital punishment. You should sell feet pics. I posted one for free a couple years ago, but it was a picture of it with my big toe broken and it was like swollen and purple. How much do you think I would have gotten for that? Like Twenty bucks, maybe. One of the wildest choices are the people that film their body when playing VR. Would pay to see you sip Diet Coke. Depends on the whale. Three fifty. I would milk to that. Should put it on Feet Finder. What is Feet Finder? Why do you know what Feet Finder is, Golden Plato? Are you a freak? Hello, DCB. Thank you for the fifty-eight month resub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Is that like Pathfinder? What are the filters? I blame my B. Wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? Is this like a couple's activity for you? Like, let's go look on Feet Finder. What the hell? <laughs> oh, fuck it out. What's up? Wholesome couple's activity? Yeah, I mean, 
I guess so. You, you like what you like. We always show each other weird shit. Okay. Okay, you just gotta be careful with that because, um... You can see something as a joke or... Ironically be into it. And if you share it to people expecting them to be like ironically into it or think it's a joke, you have a chance of actually turning them. I did that to one of my teenage friends with Alex Jones, as a matter of fact. Way before he was as popular as he is now, oh, he had a uh, InfoWars thing on the iTunes radio that I listened to. Because I would just go through those radio stations look, just out of interest, curiosity, seeing what was going on. And I found this man talking about the frogs turning gay and how pedophiles were in fact not attracted to children, but they wanted like adrenochrome or whatever the fuck they call it. And they, they're they like psychic vampires that want to harvest kids to extend their natural lifespans. And I'm like, dude, you got to hear this shit. Like, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> this guy's fucking nuts. And I showed him the Alex Jones thing. And uh, I was like pushing him down a fucking hole. Uh, he he was had the exact opposite. He's like, you know what? I think this guy is spitting facts. And before I knew it, he had a trunk with like 10 fucking guns and like five knives, like an armory in his car. And I feel a little bit bad about that, honestly. Uh, I feel just a touch, a touch terrible. But what can you do, right? Why in his car? I'm not sure. I'm sure he had even more in his house. Ironic interests I share with others aren't actually ironic. I'm just leaving a way out for myself. It happened eventually, probably. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. Um, I think some people are just, like, uh, predisposed to going down those sorts of rabbit holes in a bad way. But, eh, it certainly didn't help, right? Send me Alex Jones info to disprove a certain recent pandemic. I remember the thing that I thought was the most funny about that podcast is one of the advertisements. There was obviously like the extreme male vitality shit that Alex Jones is associated with, but there was another thing, which is colloidal silver, where I guess you consume silver for a variety of nebulous health benefits. I guess uh, it, it neutralizes free radicals and toxins in the body if you just have fucking colloidal silver. And if you take too much of this, let me let me show you. Let me show you a guy who is, uh, took a little too much of this colloidal silver shit. You're gonna, like, imagine just looking like this, dude. You would be able, like, let, let's be honest, though. I feel like if this dude was terminally online, he would have gotten it hella laid especially after like the marvel shit came out and there's the fucking big guy who's purple with the butt cheeks um he could have gone to a con and people wanted would have wanted to jump his fucking bones because of his, his purpality i think he died before that shit came out so he really um he should have held on just a little bit longer you're turning violet violet uh, thank you, Zuri Fajita, for the 29-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. His blue wasn't actually caused by silver. Hmm. Because it says, Agriria is a rare skin condition that can happen if silver builds up in your body over a long time. It can turn your skin, eyes, internal organs, nails, and gums a blue-gray color, especially in areas of your body exposed to sunlight. Changing your color is permanent. Maybe this dude was just naturally blue. And that wasn't his thing, but be, turning blue because of the silver is 100% something that can happen to you. Just holding his breath. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is actually the true identity of Blueberry Brioche. <laughs> Just the ultimate, the ultimate scammer. Wealth beyond measure outlander. Shit, I need some silver now. No, I think it's not. It's probably not very good for you to have that much silver in you. That, pers that person was blue for eating copper? Well, you know, let's see. Karrison started taking colloidal silver after his friend developed petroleum poisoning. Karrison started taking it for sinusitis, dermatitis, acid reflux, and other issues. This caused him to develop argyria. Okay, so maybe you guys have some secret info that I don't, but the Wikipedia page seems to be strongly of the uh, 
you know, it strongly suggests that the Agriria developed by taking colloidal silver was in fact because he took colloidal silver. Uh, maybe it was actually something secret so the people like grifters could sell more of this colloidal silver shit, but I'm inclined to believe it. <laughs> I don't see anything here suggesting otherwise. Maybe he was a Navi from James Cameron's Avatar. I'm on that Nashville Nibblers. Where the fuck? There's also a... Uh, maybe you're thinking of these people. This is in the, re the related. Because I am trying to look at something that disproves the idea of him being silver. There is a family commonly known as the Blue Fugatis. Or the Blue People of Kentucky are an ancestral family living in the hills of Kentucky starting in the 19th century. Where they are known for having a genetic trait that led to the blood disorder meth methemoglobinemia causing the skin to appear blue but that's not this guy that's not this guy this is the colloidal silver man that's interesting imagine having a smurf family that that are there pictures of this shit what the fuck this is a scary ass picture dude what the fuck hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up Hold up. You are my favorite VTuber. Well, I'm glad, Arrow. You know, I try really hard to get my rig uh, rig and my pussy flaps uh, set up properly. So I'm glad that I'm being appreciated for that. This shit looks like something you would see in an itch.io game. Like, non-ironically, if you told me this was a screen cap from, like, a Raphael game, I would believe you. But this is apparently, like, a real picture of these uh, this family of blue people flash on screen for like half a second yeah yeah and you'd be it, you'd think it was really scary at first and then you'd watch the vod and you'd just see they're just blue they're just blue tag yourself i'm the one in the way back i'm probably the one all the way in the front the little manlet hello gray sketch looks like a marvel alien family far left is me they look like they eat kwama eggs kwama eggs seem like they would taste pretty good Man. <laughs> I actually... Okay, can I say something terrible? I, um... I, I'm, I'm in this Google image search for these silver people, okay? And I... For a moment, one of these pictures, I thought... I, I saw this, and for a brief moment, my mom said... Or my mind said, holy shit, is that Asmongold? <laughs> It's not. It's not at all. But, you know, for for the, the briefest of moments, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's not rat blood behind him on the wall? Oh, man. It's been live all this time. I Twitch bugged and I was still waiting on the stream. You got to, uh... Well, I mean, I guess if you were in the chat and everyone's talking. Yeah. Chat doesn't usually go very fast if I'm not on. Dude's face is far healthier than Asmin. Have you seen that man's room? I've heard whisperings of it. I don't... I try not to subject myself to that stuff, but I've heard about the Crawley Boys. I've heard about the, the blood tooth wall. Um, I used to think I was a slob, and I, I still am, but good God, man. <laughs> good God. The tooth blood wall. I like to believe he eats silver coins, blood tooth. Well, yeah, I guess his gums would bleed it and he'd like wake up and fucking wipe it on the wall for some reason. I don't fucking know. I'm sure someone else has a more uh, in-depth explanation as to what that is. Today is my birthday. Can I get a birthday song? Yes. <clears throat> Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you. Gotta sneeze. Happy birthday, dear Satu. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, sorry, that was a bad one. I had to, like, really... had a strong urge to sneeze in the middle of that. But it wouldn't come out. So, uh, shit happens, I guess. 
Thought you were getting emotional? I don't get emotional, bro. Are you kidding me? You know, I am a mental fortitude, stoic, uh, an absolute brick wall, bricked up. Sounded like you were moved to tears for a moment. I thought the voice tremble was on purpose. It sounded nice. God, that's like when people say your voice sounds better when you're sick. Have you ever had that where you've got like the congestion and you're you're talking a little deeper and people think it sounds better than you do normally? Why do you always sound like you something tied a 20 pound kettlebell to your nuts whenever you sing that? It's called a vocal range, Jimmy. Some people don't have like this this monotone they speak in always. They can they can like check this out. I can go deep too. I can one day when I'm finally ready, when we are all ready to be done with this whole streaming thing, I will go as loud as I can. I can be like tornado siren loud and it will break your fucking speakers. You sound like a black and white cartoon from the 40s. You can do deep on these nuts. Calling on the whales, give me a reason. I can also... Hello there, Jimmy. You think you're hot shit, huh? Come over here and grab my nuts, you little bitch. Hmm? Hmm? Wanna kiss it? Hello, smooth skin. Chicago tornado siren. Yeah, I don't know. I It pisses me off because I used to be able to go way higher than I can now. Um, and I've, I've lost a significant amount of the ability... Who watches The Watchmen? I don't know, but I need a fucking napkin, dude. My nose is running out. I think maybe, uh, maybe Splitting was right. Maybe this allergy shit fucking sucks. I'm a little choir boy, so I can go super high still many years later. Hell yeah, dude. Anime voice is impressive. It used to be even more impressive. I used to irritate the hell out of my friends because I would go as high as I could and sing Lady Gaga's Poker Face. Just imagine that. Like, you're sitting there in the middle of public, and I, you know, Tolomeo just starts singing Lady Gaga, embarrassing you and everyone else present. Just uh, a magical time. I love Poker Face, though. I remember here, when Lady Gaga first started getting popular, a lot of people at my church thought she was secretly a man. And I, I had completely forgotten about that little detail until just right now, actually. Hello, the dreams. About half an hour before the stream, my sinuses were so fucked, my eyes hurt to close. Pseudophedrin, my beloved, save me. Yeah, that shit's awesome. Leave it to the church. Wish she was trans, so ahead of their time. But I think we need to hear the toad chandelier. I'm glad that it's... Well, maybe not... Glad is probably not the right word, but it's interesting that other people had this experience as well. It's so strange. This conspiracy stuff, like the one I was talking about with like Chester Bennington yesterday. And, you know, at the risk of rubbing religious people the wrong way, this isn't meant to be a slight to all religious people. I do think it's weirdly fascinating how a lot of these people who are like fucking balls deep into the conspiracy stuff are also religious. That seems like a contradiction at face value to me. Um, I'm sure they would have an explanation as to why that is, but it's just really weird that that is such a common thing. Is there any celebrity that's taken their own life that there, there isn't a conspiracy about? I don't know. I didn't even know about this shit with like uh, Chester until a few days ago. They've already taken the blind leap of faith. Saw an interview where someone asked her about those accusations. She was like, yeah, so what if I did have a dick? <laughs> what is religion, if not the greatest conspiracy theory? If you believe in something nonsensical, does it make sense that you can believe something else nonsensical? No, it's not about that. That's not the point I'm really trying to make. Um, the point is more that, like, I, I don't know, dude. Uh, you remember, remember when... Uh, the church didn't want people to read so they couldn't actually read what the Bible said. It almost sounds like a conspiracy against the people to keep them ignorant masses that they could exploit, right? Just that organized religion has, has like, matter-of-factly engaged in conspiracies against the common man on several occasions. So it's like, if you want a conspiracy, 
if you know it is there it is there they gave the sermons in latin or partially and it's not it, it's like uh because they they're right about if you're a conspiracy theorist you probably shouldn't trust the government that seems like i don't necessarily 100 percent agree with that but that's logical because the government also conspires against the people so it's the point i'm trying to make is that they have like a blind spot for like the one body the organized body that conspires against the people they're extremely skeptical of corporations they're extremely skeptical of government but for some reason they just don't really seem to be that critical towards the church that's specifically what i mean about it being weird it's not like the leap of faith thing although i guess you could have a point with that it's not a contradiction for people who are practiced in taking the opinions of others as truth at face value to spread other wild bullshit without critical thinking. Pretty sure they trust their local church, not the Vatican. I don't know. I mean, I think that you can trust your larger part of your denomination of Christianity. Like, I don't think Baptists in general as a whole conspiracy or not are particularly trusting of the Vatican. So I don't I feel like feel like that's kind of a nothing burger point. I feel as if uh, all of these little denominations of Christians, especially in places like Texas, are not entirely trusting towards one another. Like, I don't think the Mormons and the Christians would get along or the Jehovah's Witnesses. They're all these little groups. My folks left the church when they refused to bury my sister in their graveyard unless my parents donated more. Jesus Christ. Fuck. That's raw. Yeah, I mean... I can't fucking imagine a little walk and talking robot. They aren't really that skeptical of corporations. They like the free market shit most of the time. They just don't like the corporations that employ minorities. Fuck the church. I had a real bad one growing up. It's funny because like my church that I grew up with was actually pretty good. It's weird, right? It's strange that I am the one like banging this drum, but I haven't had that many bad experiences with, uh, with religion myself. I haven't felt people this checked out of an election cycle ever. Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses are considered cults. The regular churches and the American church has been denounced by the Vatican. Yeah, yeah, you've got the balkanization of uh, Christianity, right? What is amazing atheist shit? Wait. I really doubt there's a lot of blind faith in religion, especially after the amazing atheist shit. That, I, I'm curious, can you elaborate on that point? I'm interested in what you mean, too. Like... There's no blind faith in the church because of the amazing atheist. I'm not following the not following the line here, but I'm interested in hearing it. Grandpa was a preacher and he got Alzheimer's, so I guess religion did him well. Isaiah says something that's making conspiracies. I think that a lot of current American Christianity is more of a social movement than it. No, I agree with that 100%. I also think it part of it has been captured by uh, certain political powers. More like the time where it was popular to be a fedora-tipping atheist. Isn't that sad? You know, I remember because I watched those videos, and the only one that could that I recall that could be categorized as like a fedora-tipping atheist was the Amazing Atheist. Everyone else, like Thunderfoot, like Thunderfoot's an asshole, but you know, thin, respectable-looking guy. A lot of people like that, and it just got straw manned into everyone being like this worthless fucking fedora tipper. And I think that it was an op at this point. Maybe it didn't start that way. But it's really curious how once the once like uh, any sort of skepticism in regards to religion started actually picking up a little bit of steam in the mainstream media, you have all of this like all people who don't believe in God or fedora tipping atheists, blah, 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 blah. And now we have a speaker of the house who thinks he's uh, he's Moses. <laughs> so, you know, maybe uh, maybe I'm the one being the conspiracy theorist now, but I look at that and I'm like, hmm, maybe we should have been a little bit more, uh, we should have persevered a little bit longer with this atheism shit and we were getting smeared. Because now we have, like, actual religious fundamentalists in places like, uh, you know, the house, government, court seats. Kind of like people remember things randomly at like Gamergate or Chanology or that one thing involving death cults. 
Who gives a shit about religion, though? So this is the tricky part, right? Because it's really difficult to talk about religion without offending religious people. Because I don't have anything against religious people, genuinely. But political interests who use religious people as scapegoats to get their agendas legislated... That's what I have a problem with, like the shit with uh, banning abortion, banning things that are of an unclean sexual nature, this puritanism that they're trying to make every adult uh, cow toe to. Um, that's specifically what I have a problem with. Like, do I give a shit about Paul going to church on Sunday? No, I think that can be a really positive thing in someone's life. I think that can be good. Um, some of the smartest people I've ever met have been religious so it's not it genuinely isn't like a discrimination towards people who happen to be religious it's the organized religion and organized religions being captured by uh political interests that bother me uh, hopefully i explained that reasonably well everyone spent five hundred dollars to check their thetan levels at church i don't know what that is Unless they're pimping for knowingly spreading STDs of federal crime, they're not sure what that means. Okay, I can explain it really easy. You're going to disagree with it because you're a contrarian. But right now, there's a thing in Texas where it's a think of the children. You know, people can't parent in Texas, so they think that internet pornography should be banned and everyone should upload their ID. And if you have a criticism of this, they'll say, oh, you're addicted to porn, or why you can't live without porn. And if that's what you're thinking, you are a sheep. Not ironically, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but it's a tactic that government uses a lot where they're getting the foot in the door to get you comfortable with banning spaces. Um, so now it starts with this porn shit. And it's like, OK, well, we got to think of the kids. We should all suffer for people's inability to parent. And th then it's going to go, oh, well, you know, we have to protect the kids because they're going on these places and they're saying that uh, they're learning about this LGBT shit. And now we got to we got to make sure that we we don't allow kids to get into these spaces. And then you get fucked more. You get fucked more. You get on these religious grounds. And I don't think any of the people making this legislation believes in any of this shit, by the way. But they're getting it to censor you. It starts with the kids, but it's not about the kids. State did the same ID shit with porn. If they won't parent their fucking kids and that's their problem, the porn ID shit is absolutely a OK, so yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. But I don't think it's about the porn at all. Uh, the porn is the easy thing to start with because if you express criticism against it, you just look like a sexual reprobate. You can easily be straw manned into, oh, so you think kids should be looking at porn. Um, so that's what I mean. And a lot of the reasons for this sort of uh, like porn stuff, I, I think a lot of it is religious reasoning. Same thing with abortion. I don't think there are a lot of non-religious people clamoring for pornography or abortion personally. I'm sure there are some, but I definitely don't think it's the majority. Needing an ID for porn doesn't seem that crazy. If you say so, I wouldn't be comfortable uploading my ID anywhere. Uh, and I don't even really care about porn. It's more the idea that you're letting them instate this sort of control over what you watch. Right now, it's something that doesn't matter. It's pornography. It's to satiate a carnal urge. But if you think it's going to stop there, I hope you're right. <laughs> I hope you're right. But it's just like that thing government does. Do you remember what the Patriot Act was? How many, how many, of, how many of you remember that? I'm sure most of you do. But that's a nice name, right? The Patriot Act. I wonder what that's about. Being loyal to your country. You know, being a good American. Protecting us. Patriot Act was so they could wiretap American citizens and take away all of our privacy. But you name it something like the Privacy Act. Or uh, the, the Patriot Act, excuse me. So it's palatable. And it's the same thing with this shit. It's like, it's, it's reasonable to not want your kids to look at porn. It's very reasonable. I think that that is... I think the party of personal responsibility should put that responsibility on the parents, not the government. But, eh. I thank you, Ghost Host, for the 52-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. With Axe, it seemed like they're going to be... Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's like... It's been happening since way before I was fucking born, too. 
No, I agree, Jimmy. I agree. I think that it's ridiculous that, you know, everyone should be expected. And, you know, like, I get it. I get it. No parent wants their kid, you know, fucking finding porn way too early and having that sort of shit. I understand the rationale for having a really negative reaction to that, of course. But um, I think in general, not even porn, but just I think it's time to start talking about limiting what your kids do on the internet as a whole and like the entire like let's just leave little timmy on the ipad thing is not a very good strategy it's not even just about the porn um it's social media as a whole uh there's a variety of groups that want to prey on lonely children and indoctrinate them into one radical belief system or another it's a dangerous place to be a kid Last time someone made a safe space for kids, furries fucked it up. Well, we're not talking about making a safe, like telling the government or a corporation to make a safe space. We're talking about parents like being involved with what their kids are consuming media wise. I know that's a lot of work and it's hard, but, you know, the kids are worth it, right? Crazy how my parents telling me to not smoke weed has never caused me to seek it out. Very effective strategy. Parental controls are usually fairly decent, but most parents... Yeah, and at a certain point, like, you, if a kid really wants to do something, it's going to be very hard to prevent the child from doing something, too. Um, so that's why, you know, I'm not a parent. You know, I, I'm not meaning to offend anyone who has kids and feels like this would be a particularly stupid strategy, but I think you just have to, like... This is going to sound nonsense, but once they're a certain age, like 13, 14, you need to treat them like they're a grown up when it comes to this, like in a, like have a conversation about it. Like, look, I know that I'm not going to be able to stop you from from seeking things out, but ha like talk to them about why you think it's something that they should be careful of, why you have concerns. Don't just be like, you can't look at this. You can't look at that. Don't do this. Don't do that. If you do, I'm going to punish you. At some point, you got to like have that conversation, right? Because you, if you're not willing to have conversations with your kids, there are thousands of people on the internet who will. And they might not uh, have your, your child's best interests at heart. So you have to actually, when it comes to the social media stuff, have like a running dialogue going with, with uh, the people you're trying to protect. Okay. I need to... We, next time I start talking about politics, you need to start spamming like pots or um or, or like birds or like ascii's or gnomes you need to knock me off of the train so we don't talk about this every single fucking day are you expecting no no i'm actually uh sterile i will never have a child i hope unless those tubes tie each other together be much more worried that my kid is listening to andrew tate yeah that's what i mean there's a, it's not even just andrew tate there's a variety of people that you probably do not want your kid listening to so you got to try to talk to them and give them the tools to hopefully be able to understand who does and doesn't have their best interests at heart because kids are smarter than a lot of people give them credit for i think at least once they're in in the teenage years thank you soren for gifting a sub to cool kai i appreciate it thank you very much if you had to get a tattoo at gunpoint... Oh, I would get a blue lobster with, like, electricity and shit coming out of its claw on my chest. Thank you, Stark Angel, for the 37-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Incromancer, for the 81 months. When she raises my three to the fourth power. That's wicked. Yeah, I would also... If I was ripped, if I was ripped toward muscle guns, I would want to get, like, a fucking virgin yakuza like back tattoo but like all aquatic life like all marine animals i get a humpback whale in there uh, i get an orca get an octopus how the fuck did you have an answer because i've thought about getting a tattoo before i mean i think it hasn't everybody to some degree yeah, i've considered it i don't think it would really uh i don't think it would be worth the money personally but i've thought about it simultaneously smarter and dumber than you expect yeah i'd agree i'd agree naive but capable of learning 10 years in the joint made you a fucking pussy never managed to consider it long enough to get an object in mind i don't know like it's... didn't take uh i just think it'd be cool i like my my aquatic life orca or something I really like crabs. I like lobsters. I think having a really uh, 
really wicked blue lobster would be cool as hell. Put electricity on it just because it's badass. When I was a teenager, my uh, my answer to that question was a lot less interesting. I thought those tribal tattoos that everyone thinks are so lame and shitty were really cool. And, you know, when I was 14, I would have told you, I want those sick tribal tats, bro. Um, not today. I was literally like 14 when I thought that. I grew out of it pretty quick. Could have been like Mario with the tribal tattoo. He canonically has one. Forgetting to put themselves in their own shoes when they were that age. It's that. And it's also... I don't think the majority of parents are like this. But my parents were very much... We are the adults. You are the child. You will never know better in any circumstance sort of thing. I think if you are capable of admitting to your child when you were wrong and they were right, you will gain a lot of respect with them. Um, at least that's how it would have been for me. That is the other massive failure. But yes, you have seniority. Yes, you have more life experience. Yes, you probably do know better 90% of the time or more. But in the, in the instances where that isn't the case, you have to be real about it. Goodbye, cool Kai. Mom is still like that. I'm in my 30s. Yeah, yeah, it never changes. Don't worry. So now we, we went into politics. Now we're talking about parental trauma. Yes, this is this is Sunday, baby. I want to get a quote from Emily Dickinson. I shall not live in vain with two hands holding a robin. It's so gay, but I like the idea. It seems like something worthwhile. Kind of sad seeing it happen as I've gotten older with my parents and my little sis being unable to change them. Daughters and I have had a conversation. I've learned and can see. Yeah, yeah, you seem like a really good parent. Like, I, you've talked to me a little bit about this, and you seem like you're open-minded and uh, you sound like a, like a really good dad, man. Genuinely. It's a bit of a sad observation of mine seeing that the people who seem emotionally competent enough to have kids don't want them. Not that they should, but people who do want kids need to take notes. It's tough. It's tough. Because um, a lot of people, you're right, there's a lot of people, you know, even personal friends of mine who have been like, I really want a kid, but I don't know if the environment's right. I don't know if we're ready. There's this horrible shit on the horizon. I don't know if I want to bring a kid into the world. The people who would be like the best parents, right, are have so many reservations about it because they're so worried about being fuck-ups or, or... But then, uh, yeah, I mean, you know the other half of the story. Uh, thank you, Based Obama, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. My family group chat name is Lost Trauma Ticos. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. Ones who don't think they're ready. Yeah. Um, like, usually I'm of the opinion, this isn't always the case, but if it, you're someone who wants kids and the thoughts, like, thoughts like, am I ready to be a parent? Will I be able to be, like, emotionally available for my kid? Will I be able to not repeat the mistakes that my parents made? Things of that nature, not specifically those thoughts, but ideas like that in general, then I'd say you're on the right track for sure. I think a lot of the really bad parents, those are thoughts that would never enter their, the, the equation at all. I see one of my sisters repeat the same sort of shit raising her kids. She always used to complain to me that our mother did, that she fucking hated. Yeah. And, you know, trauma is also... Trauma... Traumatized people... Tra or traumatized people. So... It's still not a 100% thing. Because sometimes you have those thoughts like, Holy shit, I am a basket case. If I had a kid, you know, I, they would be, like, going through mental Vietnam. And, you know, they would be right about that sometimes. So you just have to know yourself and be honest with yourself about those sorts of things right like my mom was very much a uh, person who probably never should have reproduced and it wasn't entirely her fault she had like unbelievably terrible parents um the things she had to suffer were you know indescribable but you know you can't just it even if you set out with the best intentions you're still if you're unwilling to take care of that trauma you're saddled with and you can't get over it, you could inadvertently cause a lot of problems for your own kids. Obviously, nowhere near what she had to go through, but just gotta really, really uh, let it roll around in your head a little bit. Goblins will see you teleport and say he can't afford a steed. My toxic trait is that in RuneScape, there's these free teleports that take like five seconds to draw, and if there are other people around... 
I will not do it, and I will just teleport to, like, uh, War's Retreat or something, which is an instant teleport, so I don't look like a poor. Or a noob. <laughs> so, we wallowing tonight? No, we're not really wallowing. You're allowed to talk about, uh, you know, subjects that are not cum, poo poo, pee pee. I don't think anyone's getting in their, in their feelings and wallowing. It's a relatively productive discussion, I would say. You'll mess up in new and exciting ways, and that's okay. Yeah, you're gonna make mistakes for sure, always. It's okay, I'm wallowing. Never think it's a bad thing. Went to Red Lobster yesterday and the lo had the lobster linguine. I haven't been to Red Lobster in forever. The exact opposite about the teleports and people who don't abuse them are just delusional. Thoughts on turkey bellies? I got one, dude. I'm so close. I'm so fucking close to breaking under 170 pounds. I need to, I need to become a Muslim and uh, do that Ramadan thing. Is here almost 99 everything? To no, I'm not, not even close. I don't even have a skill that's 90. What the hell is a turkey belly? Um, he calls my gut that because I did a stream where I built a Lego Star Destroyer. And my gut was uh, pretty prominent. And so he calls it a turkey belly now. My girls are now 26 and 32. I'm so proud of them. I also take the time to tell their friends they are awesome. And I'm proud of them too. They mostly tear up and say they've been told that. Yeah, you seem like a really solid dude. I respect that a lot. I think it's it's good. It's really good. There's more There's more men that need to be like that. Daily panic attacks will melt the pounds right off. Don't recommend it though. We could also do meth. I remember the gay members of the chat oogling over those shirtless pics. I don't think that was in line with reality. Red Lobster Cheddar Biscuit Mix at the store. Yeah, yeah, we've we've gotten that stuff, and it's all right, but it's not the same. Aquatic back piece you were getting. I would like to be inserted inside the blue whale so you could barely see flippers. I'm probably not going to get something like that, because I feel like for the back tattoo specifically, you wouldn't want to get something like that on a back that lacked definition does that make sense like if you had like a doe back i don't i don't see what the point would be you know when you eat thanksgiving and you have a pot belly after i guess that makes sense so he just means like a food baby when you eat a little too much and you're protruding a bit i'm going to eat you i don't think you could do it yo yo all right all right, are we uh, are we ready to play video games? The pre-streams have been going on a little long lately, so maybe we should actually only do one hour today. Don't you tell me where I can and can't burst. I have an appetite. I can vor a house. Yeah, dude. I'm there with you. I'm hungry as fuck. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Where was this game? Thank you, Petunia44, for the nine-month resub. Play Morrowind and make me happy. No, dog, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're doing Skyrim soon, brother. Become a Muslim on stream. There are enough people watching right now by saying these words in Arabic. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. I don't... It's getting to the point where it's a little difficult. Like, there's a lot... I've gone through almost all of the low-hanging fruit games. Like, the really fucking shitty ones. Like, there's not going to be as much slop today. I think. I hope. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to play, I thought I downloaded, and I guess I didn't. So give me a second to go back and do that. I have to go find that. It, it won't be a proper stream without a... Um, you need either Vetus, Raphael... Or 333 games. You need one of them. Oh, okay. So I downloaded it, but um, Chrome seems to think it is a suspicious file. I do not care. Give me the virus now. B33 died? No, he, he's Fearscape now. He renamed. He rebranded. So that's the first game we're going to play. Is Fearscape's new game, Killer in the Camp. Gee, I wonder how we're going to uh, 
Gonna have to do this. How to join RS Clan? Ask Sushi. He can help you. Maybe. Um, I would, but I'm streaming right now. And if uh, he, he doesn't get you in, I can uh, just message me and I will. Is it gonna have a washing machine? Probably. Fearscape present Killer in the Camp. A short game created by Juan Marco... Juan? Spatial thanks to you for play. I've never been spatially thanked before. You... Well, one more... Okay, this place is driving me crazy. I'm afraid that the same thing will happen to me as it did to them. Okay, we have to investigate the place. Holy fuck, dude. It's like... Alright, yo, Petunia, we're basically playing Morrowind with this walk speed. Better English, maybe? It seems worse. I don't know what the fuck a spatial thanks is. I'm gonna be... Let me thinking about that tonight when I'm going to bed. Are we doing bingo? Yes, yeah, Sunday is always bingo. The worst bonfire I've ever seen. <laughs> Jesus. Damn, this town kind of fucking sucks. Sounds like a Pokemon move a little bit. Oh, there's a lot of missing posters here. Okay. And there's just an open house at the end of the road. So I guess that is where we're going to go. Make sure to mark the bonfire. Thank you, Colonel Martyr, for gifting a sub to Torpal Duck. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm almost never able to pick things up in these games. Not like random things like that, at least. Maybe this flashlight. Um, I'm trying really hard. Okay, we did it. We did it. We got the... It's like some strange-ass little boarded-up church worshipping a flashlight. What a bizarre house. Would you live in here? Chat, would this be... Would you be alright being in this establishment? It's basically my house. Come on over, bros. Wait, no, we actually do need to get a rake. Holy shit, I just saw the text. Hello, Aetherius. Clean the dirt. Um. Uh, hello, Nacho Man. What's up, dude? So, what... Obviously, I know what clean the dirt means, but is... There's... There's obviously, like, a specific spot I need to be cleaning. I'm guessing it's over by the bonfire. Or maybe it's... There's no way it's this, right? Oh. Oh. Hello, Schrodinger's hamster. Well, that's a little bizarre. Uh, holy shit, are we at, like, fucking basketball camp? Good God, dude. That person is so fucking tall. That's scary. I want to read the note, but it won't let me. Okay, well, let's go see what this person's up to. Hello, Theodore. How are you? Good to see you. Task suicide. Oh, okay. I killed myself. <laughs> I mean, real quick, let me find the uh, let me find the rock. Yeah, that's a, that's a. Okay. Damn, it, it's probably possible to get bingo from just this game, huh? Holy shit. Hello, Misa. Another suicide. You are your killer. Working at night in a camp, paranormal things, the same routine every day without resting until four in the morning, resting only five hours. What do you think of the missing people from the forest who worked here? You just became one of... What is this shit? She was just warning you. She was just warning you not to do the same thing she did. Thanks for playing. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was awesome, dude. Chills. <laughs> Chills, dude. And then his skeleton popped up. Hand hook car door. Wow. Okay, that was incredible. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, well, yeah. Why even play anything else? That was, that was, you're, we're not going to beat that. We're not going to beat that. Like, there's no way. Great stream, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's a wrap, right? Move out of the way, 333. Three, three. Juan is here. My favorite part is he had to rake the dirt first. Yeah, for a note that you couldn't fucking read. Amazing. I I genuinely really like that dev. I hope he continues making more. We need more, like, uh, indie game golems who churn out gems like that. I am not joking. I am being entirely honest. I... We need to... We need to support that guy. Just came back and missed the whole game. Yeah, dude. It was a really a really thrilling one. Settled to watch Twitch only right now. I hope everything's all good. Do you leave comments? Not usually. Not a big comment guy. Don't have a lot to say. I am a streamer, so I must stream. All right, let's look at our streamer setup. Yep. Dude, we're Hellblinda. Holy shit. We're going to have like a nice ass DJ stream. Nice and uh, bald, beautiful man. Is the Super Smash Brothers logo on the back of the chair? Almost, kind of. Okay. Hey lads, today we will be playing Average Human Interaction in a Pub. I am a god at this game. Are you kidding me? Can you play something else? Tell me the game name. The graphics are sick. Got my snacks ready. New messages from bro. Hold on. I'm trying to win, dude. This guy's cheating. That was chat's fault. Lamal, the mirror has a figure. Check the mirror. Is anyone seeing the figure? Oh my god, did you guys see that? Nice stream, bro. Are we being pranked? Do check your mirror. Mirror is freaky as fuck. Oh, hell no. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That was Mises' comment. Can you play something else? Your mother is very nice. Yo, bro, what's that in your mirror, bro? What the fuck you talking about? He's got a huge dick. Look at that fucking thing. Nah, stop messing with me, bro. I swear I'm not joking, dude. The chat's also going wild. Not funny, dude. No brain cells in sight! Is that your mom? Is that my mom? That was a disconcerting sort of noise. Oh. What the fuck? I hate it when this shit happens, dude. This is like Cifaroni has entered chat.wav. <laughs> that is exactly what this is. I'm new to Twitch. I don't know how to find the bingo. Splitten will post it. Uh, it's pinned in the chat. Oh, no. The game is... Can we get a link for the bingo? It's a... Uh, you have to click on it. Uh, Splitten has posted it. You just click it, and it's pretty easy to go from there. 
Oh my god, this hurts my eyes. Hello? I think we have enough bingo links. Third impact? Yeah, it kind of is like End of Evangelion. I wonder if we're going to any hospitals in this game. Gee, I sure hope so. Really did almost get a bingo from that first game alone. Yeah, sometimes that happens. When there's a um, SpongeBob game first, there have been numerous examples of like streams where a SpongeBob game is what you start out with and people are getting bingo game one. So I try not to play SpongeBob games. <laughs> because that shit is too free. They do save them for the end, so people have to wait a little bit. Okay, well, I'm not certain what I'm doing here. Oh. What the fuck? Does, do you think it's friendly? Oh no, it's it's prolapsing. Oh god. Misa, look away, it's got elbows. Tolo's rigging the bingo? No, I'm not. Click on the prolapse? I don't think I can. I tried. It hunts relentlessly, it will catch you. It seemed friendly enough to me. Oh shit. There's a small one. Oh! Was that like a like an OnlyFans meetup? What the hell happened there? Thanks for playing. For more serious games, check out the following. Feel free to follow us if you enjoy what we do. We played one of the previous games they've made um, a couple weeks ago. I was not expecting it to no clip. Yeah, me neither. This game wasn't serious. I mean, any sort of game that stars a main character who is a streamer feel like it's never going to be serious, right? Okay. I think people will really like this game. This one is straight up... This is a pandering game. I played this because I thought chat would really like it and no other reason. Hello, Simon Sneeze. It will make sense when I, when I boot it up, Misa. You'll understand exactly what I mean once we capture it. Attention, this is a demo build and may contain bugs or unfinished features. Press any key to continue. Okay, if you had to guess what kind of game this is, what would you say? With the info that I've given you, I wanna, I'm curious if any of you will be able to guess what it's gonna be. A lot of, a lot of people saying gay. Hello, Dibs. I don't think anyone's got it yet. I think you you guys are pretty far off the mark. VTuber foot job. Is it about porn? No. Doomish? Samoyed RPG furry maker game? Zoomies cat racing, everybody. <laughs> we we get to race as a kitty cat. Okay, we need to get first place in the big city. That should be easy. Wait. I only have the tabby. I can unlock the bobtail, the Scottish fold, the per and the Persian. Okay. Let's see how good I am at kitty cat racing. I don't even know the controls. Shit, I'm winning. Okay, we got it, we got it. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. What? Okay, okay. Holy shit. Considered player control driving? Yeah, probably. Oh, fuck. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna come in first place. I think it's looking a little grim. Just a wee bit dire. Oh, wow. But maybe, maybe. Ooh! I almost got fucking smushed. Uh? This shit's hard, bro. There go one of your lives. All right, all right. Let's retry. How do I do that? Oh, God. Shit! Dude! This shit is impossible. Clearly. I'm getting skill issued by cat racing. Oh, 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 oh. We might be able to finish in fifth place. Maybe. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm getting a little bit better at the turns. Damn it. Okay. I fucked that one up, but until that point, I was doing a little better. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! you piece of shit there who the fuck is going to whataburger during cat racing Okay, well, that was better. That was better, but not good. Okay, 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 this time for sure. There's no way this can go tits up. went tits up. That's okay, that's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Spun out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see Cyrax play this game, or like King Cobra JFS. Almost, dude. That was almost such a good turn. Shit. God, dude. God, dude. I was getting... I was getting so good for a moment. 
But you make one fuck up and the Bobtails is gonna own you. This is the medium difficulty, by the way. Now, granted, I'm not exactly a racing master. <laughs> but, uh, I just need to relax a little bit on the hedges. You have a shit cat? No, I don't. He's trying his best. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. That was a setback, but that's not the end of the world. Oh, thank you, Ryu Sensei, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, dude. Okay, okay, okay. That was a mild fuck up, but that was one of the best, uh, best ones I've done on that part. Uh oh. Come on. I just fucking hit that cat. Can I like beat the shit out of my my opponents? That would be fantastic. We gotta, we gotta cut those corners like we're fucking working at the Frito-Lay Corporation, baby. Come on. No! No! I was so close! Ah! God damn it. You blew it? Kind of. I did good for like 99% and I just put in just a little too much at the end. Oh, yeah. You gotta be really, really careful with that. Okay, hold on. Can I get a, a different cat now? We could... <sighs> the bobtail has amazing acceleration... The Scottish Fold, he's only good at turning. Okay, let's try him. That is the hard part. Don't shame the cats. Holy shit, this one looks so funny. Oh yeah, this thing is way better at turning, it turns out. Okay. No, don't, don't miss the fucking pad. The thing is, this cat has dog shit acceleration. So if you miss, like, one of those boost pads, I think you've just lost the whole thing. Time to win the championship. I'm trying really hard. This feels like the fucking noob cat, though. It's so much easier to not spin out with this one. Thank you, Moonwatching, for the resub. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, okay.
That was a lot. My cat's malfunctioning. No. Game should have burnout crash cams. Okay, okay, okay. So now we can go to the burbs. I'm going back to the tabby. Or. Nah, nah. Scottish hold. The turning's too good. Oh, man. Okay. Charles The game's cheating some bullshit, bro Okay, avoid the fucking ramp <laughs> do not go on the ramp they're so appetizing. You just want to... It's just cool to do tricks and shit. You want to show off. But I think uh, the collisions may be not the best with that. Or maybe I just fucked it up. I don't know. Alright, so I think maybe, yeah, yeah, definitely don't go on those. That was, I guess they look like ramps, but they're not really uh, intended for that purpose. Shouldn't cats always land on their feet? One of the, the cats is having, like, cardiac arrest over here. I don't know what happened to this one, but he's completely stopped moving. This makes me want to play Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer. Uh-oh. There was like a 15 cat pile up back there. Wow! Got Gizmo running sabotage for us. Alright. We did it. Absolute master. I think that's the last level, right? Yeah. Cool game. I, I wish I was a little bit better at racing, but uh, that was fun. Nine seconds ahead. Over way too soon. Can't wait for multiplayer. That would be fun to play multiplayer. Like, we should have... You know what would be the funniest shit in the world? That game comes out. It's easy multiplayer. Have a turn tournament for it. With, like, a $500 prize to make people, like, grossly competitive about it. Uh, just to make people, like, take the funny cat racing game super serious. And there'll be tons of cat drama. People are gonna be pissed finding out exploits, strategies. That would be funny as fuck. Sounds miserable. Yeah, yeah, get, like, me, Sokoko, Jenna, and, like, Miu Kuki to do, like, color commentary over the cat racing gonna play the new alone in the dark game when it releases i haven't even heard of it um probably not maybe if it looks cool i feel like if it's uh i have to play like niche things that's my entire thing right the if there is an exciting element of this stream it's that you never know what to fucking expect you really don't like i don't think anyone expected a cat racing game for example Play Dragon's Dogma 2? Nah, I'm not really interested in that one. Alright. This is Everbark, which is my house whenever Autumn gets home and the dogs start throwing a party. Expect come game every stream. No one expected Bevers to take over. Okay, let me know how the volume is. 
I definitely am not going to play the Silent Hill remake. There's no way. Oh, it's an Australia game. <laughs> the dogs. What the fuck is that? <laughs> the dead the dogs. All right, I turned it up. I know it is pop it at, but it sounds like a dugong or something. Yeah, it was pretty dim. I got like four new cracks in my windshield from falling branches outside. How am I gonna make it to Sinnelink now? The missus has been struck up about breaking in Ash's face, too. The dogs are just going nuts, eh? They're eating it off the carpet this morning. That's awesome. No, 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 this is headquarters. We need a ranger to read that. The center link or cuz? What do you mean, pop it out? Sure, Katie. This is Ranger Calder. What's the situation? <laughs> he sound he sounds like he's he's um never mind all right headed there now center link I thought that was gonna be like a micro center or something I don't know why my my mind made that specific association. Sounds like Friendly Geordies. He sounds like that guy from the, the Screaming Cowboys music video. Come in, HQ. Just arrived. Heading to the dig site now. Are, you know what? This is awesome so far. This is a strong... This is a strong start. I like the, the way it looks. It's like in the fucking Fern Valley or some shit. Looks pretty distinct from a lot of these styles of games. Okay, well, let's see where this goes. Would you like me to turn the brightness up on your end? 10% to that. Alright, I'll just go ahead and turn it up because usually people like it when I make it brighter for them. I'm not going to make it too bad. Just when we're done playing this, remind me to turn it back down so that uh, everything else doesn't look hella washed out. I know that's still kind of dark, but increased it just a little bit. We're not supposed to see absolutely everything, so I think that's a reasonable compromise. Holy shit, what's down here? Okay. Wonder if there's gonna be like a dinosaur or something. I hope that this is some sort of game that people from my stream made and the antagonist is gonna be pop it at. You have to run through a forest with this deranged middle aged woman talking about like the Final Fantasy house. Hello, Ash. What's up, dude? Camp set up and team is on track and positive about the dig. Water and dried supplies will keep us working for eight to nine days. First night jitters for the interns. They should be settled down by tomorrow. Promising first day at the dig. We've uncovered some interesting Cretaceous small rock forms about two meters deep near the eastern cliff face. Food and water supplies are healthy. We've worked in shifts to ensure we've been devoting as many hours as possible during the short exploratory expedition. Thank you, Optimist Prime, for the 16-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Significant over overnight discovery at around 2.30 a.m. What appears to be a petrified tree has been unearthed. And we're... Oh, you guys want me to try to read it in a billabong accent? Uh, it's going to be really bad, but I can try. We're in the process of clearing. Photography recording and measurements. Video recording of the find has been logged. Discovery of a petrified log formation has caused some consternation and concern following the team witnessing a red sap linking from the fossil. Red sap, uh, the leakage seems fresh despite the fossil found encased in rock. Odd noises from nearby emanating from the forest and what appears to be caves. 
This has only happened following the fossil find. Sounds mostly redneck. Have you ever talked to rednecks? Maybe it sounds way different, but I really... I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that at all. It definitely... It almost assuredly doesn't sound like Australian. But I don't know about redneck. Appears to be more wildlife activity since the discovery of the log fossil. Talk to rednecks and they, they sound Australian? That's cool. I want to go. I want to go where you found those people someday. The red sap still emits from the fossil, something that none of the team has witnessed before. We continue digging throughout the night. However, our generator and lights have been stolen, requiring torches and lamps to continue working. Some of the team are showing signs of concern with the increase in wildlife activity and footprints. Digging is stalled following the disappearance of Philip overnight. We heard the wildlife noises again around 2 a.m. Lights went out again, and the sounds of a man's screams and calls. No mobile reception, so we're forming our own search. Could be a dingo pack living nearby. However, the animals we've seen have avoided the team. Okay. We're finally done with that. What the fuck is this? Colo, my favorite Australian... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me, man. I'm gonna fit right in if I ever go over there. So, um, all right. I was wondering what was going on with the flashlight. Steve Irwin is alive? Yeah, for, for sure. Definitely. Imagine a universe where Steve Irwin was alive and streamed on Twitch.television. That would have been the good universe, I think. A drop bear is going to get you. We need to discover the secrets of necromancy so we can bring him back and get him to stream. Okay. Come in, HQ. This is Ranger Counter reporting. Over. Ranger 999, what's the situation? After investigating the camp, archaeologists is still missing. The campsite looks abandoned. Found some handwritten notes regarding the comings and goings of the team over the past week. Looks like they lost Philip and formed a search party to look for him nearby. Now are the signs of the team. Alright, I'm going to say by. something that's going to offend two countries. Roger that. Continuing search. Over. The, the guy speaking sounds more New Zealand to me than Australian. He reminds me specifically of the way that Izzy ZZ YouTuber talks. But I'm not really an expert in the differences, but he strikes me as like a guy who has a bunch of cheese in his refrigerator. If you catch my drift. Yeah, the same thing. I think there's like very minor differences. It's one of the things where I, I believe Australians and New Zealanders would probably be able to tell, but a Texan like me, probably not. What does that mean? We used to have a guy in the stream named Elixir back in the day who was known for two things. Um, saying that streamers' money wasn't real. Um, that if you make money off of Twitch, it's not your money and some shit like that. And for having, like, a refrigerator he posted pictures of that was just stock full of fucking cheese. Like, it was just cheese, 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 cheese. It was the E-cheese zone, dude. It was fucking weird. Like, this dude was a rat. Like, a literal rat. Cheese is based? It is, but an entire fridge full of it? What's good, Majin? How are you, dude? Good cheeses or cheap cheeses? He he said he was very rich, and so they were good cheeses, I think. Oh, God. Thank you, Sin and Coconuts, for the 21 month sub. I appreciate it. This money's apparently not yours. Yeah, it was HQ. really weird. Like, this is Agent Counter reporting. Coven HQ. It ended up being like a three hour debate between me and him because he said I bought something, and he was like, You didn't buy anything. Oh, okay. Katie, can you read me? I'm trapped inside the cave. There's been a landslide. It looks blocked. HQ, come in, HQ. Damn it. 
Damn. Sounds like a real goof. He was funny because he would talk about... I remember another instance I remember with him is, you know, when my response to him saying that is like, okay, so if uh, a streamer's half of the money is not theirs, then we, what about Twitch's half? Are they not a real corporation? Because it's a partnership where you make like 50-50, right? Uh, and he never answered that question. But the other one that was really funny is he would like, he had like this chip on his shoulder against moderators as a concept. Um, like moderators of Discord. And then I found out he modded someone's stream and I gave him shit about it. He was, <laughs> it's just a weird guy. A very strange person. Like wasn't particularly mean or vitriolic, but just like really fucking weird guy. Happened to him? I don't know. It was like uh, 2015, 2016. It was a long ass time ago. Sometimes people just kind of like watch the stream for a couple months, loiter in the Discord for a couple years, and then leave. Who was? Uh, Elixir. I hope the dogs in the background are adding like a. feelings of dingoes. Wait, holy shit. You good? We just, like, put him in our pocket. We just put the archaeologist in our pocket. Okay. Thought he was banned? No, no, I don't think so. I didn't ban him. Wait. What? Oh! I just got my dick sucked. You were found wound in sap. Okay. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Was that a cryptid? I don't know what it was. I didn't end up getting a good enough view at it. Oh shit. Okay, you keep your progress. That's kind of crazy actually. There are not a lot of these games where you die and you keep your progress for the objective. I guess I should have been freeing these guys all along, huh? Oh. What? You ever wanted to play something like WoW, but then you don't ever want to play because how the streamer community is? Um... I'm not sure what you mean. Are you saying, like... Have I ever been reluctant to stream something because of the other streamers who play it? Or have I been reluctant to play something on my own time because of streamers' influence on the game? I'm not certain what you mean. Okay, I keep doing that. Cool, if every time you die there's one more archaeologist you have to rescue, that would be neat, but I... It could get out of hand really quick. on your own time but the former part about the streamer community um no so i wouldn't play wow because i think wow is just terrible um i don't know if that specific thing has ever occurred like i don't want to play this because of streamer community stuff can't recall i've been reluctant to play things like kingdom hearts because of the kind of person that plays kingdom hearts Thank you, Clay Young, for the 61 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Because I found a server for it. It's classless, which seems kind of cool. Turns out you were 100% right about Kingdom Hearts. You played three. Yeah, I did, but, you know, I was reluctant. Um, turns out that maybe my reluctance was more, uh, more of a real reason than I had initially anticipated.
Okay, so I'm not sure how to avoid the monster then. I thought, like, if you hear twigs cracking, maybe you stop. But that's not it. Learned about the power of friendship? I feel like you shouldn't need a video game to teach you about friendship, personally. But maybe that's just me. Video games to gay furry pipeline is real. Got a tall geese, flugel, endless waltz. I'm so excited to put it together this week. Hell yeah, dude. Hello, Willy. So far, we've played Cat Racing, a 333 Games production, and a game about being a streamer. Only reason I know about friendship is because of One Piece. Do you have a weapon in this? I don't believe I do. I learned all my social skills from Persona and NPC leveling. Wow, yeah, this dude's a fucking con, isn't he? Oh, I don't like how we can see him, like... Okay. I like how I can bring my flashlight up during this. That's awesome. I need to work on my, my Gundam that I'm doing right now. I'm spending too long just painting little details. That It's, it's become a, quite an ordeal. Movement towards you considered spasming. No matter what, I always go over there to that, uh, that blockage. I don't know if it would be considered spasming. I'll leave that up to public opinion, I guess. Kind of just looks like really fast crawling to me, not... There's a stealth mechanic? I suppose there is. Oh my god, how big is this fucking hellhole? Okay, I found all five of them. Now what? Holy shit, dude. Australia is a pretty big country. Are there ever, like, little leaf spriggin' dudes who try to attack you in the Australian outback? That'd be kind of cool. I feel like Castley would know more than anyone. <gasps> what the fuck? I, I did it! You found the archaeology team! Okay. Yeah. Yes. HQ, this is Ranger Calder. Copy. I've made I just over. won? Yeah. Please respond. Over. A tremor caused the cave entrance to collapse. We made it out alive, but there are still people trapped inside. How? Requesting you saved them all. EMS unit to my location. Also, the situation calls for defensive equipment. Do advise. Over. Lived in the city most of my life, but I watch a lot of nature shows. Okay. Okay. In my head canon, the monster of this game is the Castly. I think that works pretty well. Okay. The next game we're going to be playing, you know, I try... It's always difficult to balance, like, the slop versus the games that I think are going to be, like, really uh, spiritual experiences. Something truly worthy of being called art in video games. I think that... You know, I found something that speaks to me on an artistic level to such a degree that I just, I have to play it. Like, the slop can wait. Um, we, we've got to fucking play this. Hmm. 
This is uh, Farming Simulator 2008. Two. <laughs> Press any button to begin brainal stimulation. Let me know how the volume is. There's like noise in the background. Looks like the Mickey Mouse basement image. What's the any button? <clears throat> it's time to do some farming. Loud boy, do I love farming. We gotta sit here and see what he has to say. Oh my god, what do you mean, Misa? You can press any button to start farming. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay! Alright, fill yourself a bucket of milk. Thank you, uh, Wild0174, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, how do I fucking do this? Hey, um, Sushi. Sushi, are you here? Sushi, I need you to look at the screen right now. I knew you were gonna say that. Say what? Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is amazing. I want to die. Why, Misa? This is unpleasant? I only left for a minute? What? Okay, see? We got it. We got it. <laughs> this is fucking awesome, dude. Shit, how do I how do I go? How do I move? Oh god, okay, okay. This is like if Truby made a video game, you know? This is the most Truby pilled thing I've ever seen in my life. What are you- That was some bullshit, brother. There's no way I crashed there. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Corn. Corn. This is just like the Corn. cat game. Corn. The hot boxes. Corn. You think he's hot boxing in the tractor? That's why he's seeing animate corn, corn people. Corn golems. Corn. Corn. Remember that one Children of the Corn game I played when I first started these streams? It was corn. like, you climb up the side of the mountain and there's like weird corn people living in it. Corn. I don't even remember what it was called. Corn. 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 There's also Johan's farm. Corn. I don't know how to get corn. enough fuel to make it. I'm genuine. What? Wait, wait, wait a motherfucking minute. I didn't crash on any of the parts before that, but that was what killed me? Like, yeah, that's fine, but I feel like I was way closer earlier and I didn't get fucked. Corn. 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna Corn. lay down for bed tonight. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm just gonna hear. Corn. 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 We did it! Okay, I'm a fucking legend. I'm a god. Oh. 
am I? Oh shit! I'm supposed to be okay. Well, I'm the worst fucking guardian ever, dude. Holy shit. Certificate of farming. I am a certified farmer and gamer. I must escape from this reesty prison. All right, now we're fucking video gaming. We're gonna use our newfound farming skills to dominate this prison. Uh. So how do you figure we do that, exactly? I don't know how to interact with anything. Okay, now this hits close to home. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I just walked through. Okay. Get the sock. No, we're not using the Joe pill. Core mana count as mannequin doll. No, if it, they count as golems, specifically. Oh. Well, you know, I'm really sad that it's over. You know when you read, like, a really good book, not that I've ever done that, or watched a really good TV series, and you have this feeling of em emptiness after you finish? Like, man, am I ever going to feel the same things that I felt while consuming this particular piece of media? Probably not. There will never be anything like it. Except the dev has made, like, 500 of these fucking games, so let's play the next one. It's burger day, so you better be ready to make some burgs. You gotta feed every customer, then you will be free. Make sure you make each burg the way they want. Or they might be sad and call the cops! I wish I could call the cops on people who put onions on my burger. Okay, cheese. One. Bl oh shit. What? Okay, okay. Up. Uh, I think it was cheese. Three blood. Is it seven? Right? Oh, I accidentally fucked it up. No, how do I? All right, it's fucked. Let's just give him. Alright, 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 so... Oh shit, hold on. This is amazing. But I don't have enough- I needed seven eggs, right? I needed a shit ton of eggs. Do I have the meat? It's perfect. No, 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 no. Hell yeah, dude, we're gaming. Okay. Two, three, three, one. Two, three, three, one. Amazing. Come on, stay. Alright, the eggs didn't fall off of this guy's burger. No, 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 no. Feed me, me. Okay, 5226. I love how it just says cheese. Just 
like me for real? I think six eggs on a burger is a little excessive, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you know what? I realize I have to apologize. We're not, they're not eggs, they're eggs. It's an entirely different thing. Okay, six, five, two, four. I went away for a minute. What's happening? Oh, we're making burgers. Sometimes I feel like this is Autumn's internal monologue. Cheese. Corn. Cheese. Corn. Perfect, we nailed it. An absolute fucking delicacy. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> feed me, feed me. One, one, two, two. That is easy as fuck, all right. Beautiful. It's only cheese. Everything fell off except the cheese. Okay. Everyone happy? Good job. <laughs> Eight dollars in meat we trust. Good end. Now we have to find the bad end. What if this is like Shipwrecked, where you have to uh, fail the mini games that are easy in order to get to the actual game? Is this it? Am, are we... Alright. Give them a 10 egg burger? It's more than how much I get paid? You, you don't get paid $8? That's fucked up. Okay. Perfection. Perfection. I'm gonna, next time I go to Whataburger, I'm just gonna go up and say, feed me. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Maybe since they're so good at remembering, like, my name and my order, like, I can condition them into knowing exactly what feed me means, and they'll give me the triple me. That would be sick as fuck. What would you do... If you were served the best, tastiest looking burger you've ever seen, but there were like eyeballs in the bun, would you still eat it? Would... Why did she laugh at that? I just heard Autumn laugh. She's on drugs. This game's gonna make me even dumber. Laughing at the dogs? Okay, good. Wait! This guy looks fucking weird. Okay, we did it. Five people were sad. Yikes, the cops are here. <laughs> this dude is amazing. Wow, what a fucking legend. Actual god. Shit, I forgot to install one of the games I was meaning to play tonight. Okay. This is, uh, well, 
I think you can probably see what this game is. Looks interesting. Looks like something. Cops is actually Misa Coco. Misa would be the worst fucking cop ever. Can you imagine? Erm, um, did you know how fast you were going? And then you'd say something and she would just like blankly stare at you in, a, in like a corporeal representation of dot dot dotting you. Alright, let's see what's under the sea. The year is 2082. Holy shit, I'm headbanging. Most of the planet is covered with water and the composition of marine fauna has changed dramatically. Humanity has about 500 million people, most of whom live where the mountains used to be. You are in the Carpathian port. A team of researchers found an anomaly in the Black Sea. The signal shows that part of the seabed has begun to rise. You can get banned from a chat for saying that word. Rise. Everything indicates that a new island is formed on the surface. As an underwater team worker, your task is to investigate the anomaly. Okay. Monster Hunter Rise. Yeah, yeah, I'm just making a reference to that guy who bans you from chat if you mention Monster Hunter Rise. Did you ever eat that candy? I did. Um. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was actually going to load for a second there. Black Sea, 120 kilometers, an old sign long ago. The sea was far away, but now it is everywhere. Someone said the Black Sea was black because of hydrogen sulfide. But now every sea is an ocean. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't run into that, but I am a little bit tempted. Oh, goody. Okay, so the gears are heels. Touch the mine? You think I should? You want to see me die that badly? Why don't you guys ever root for my success, for my victory? Why do you always want me to, like, run into mines and hurt myself? Okay. This is an interesting video game. I like your little red head. Yeah, I look like, uh, I think chat was saying Pez dispensers. Go, oh, hold on. Please, let me read. Uh. Mm. Okay. What, wait, 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 wait. What was that about then? I thought it was like the day night cycle, but it just. Oh, holy shit. This is not where I was expecting to see a gas station, but here we are. How do I... How do I talk to this guy? I know it says E, but it's not working. Any strong opinions about armored catfish? I have two of them, so I like them a lot. I have a striped and a spotted Raphael catfish. Not a health pickup and you're at full health? Maybe. Someone committed suicide this stream, mate. You gotta watch the stream, playa. You gotta watch the stream. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. Point of bingo is so you watch the stream, not so we could be like, oh, have these have these squares happened? That shit's verboten. My dog is desperate to come inside. Just a funny thing to ask because it sounds fucked up out of context. I think it's the first time I've seen in a game, like, when you have the little objective tracker in the top corner saying, like, objective, suicide. <laughs> so that was unique. That was very unique. I liked that a lot. How have the games been? I think they've been pretty good. Making sure you remember to turn down Gamma. I didn't, but I think for this game it might be it might be fine. I'm not confident I'm going the right way.
Maybe we should have followed the arrow, but it says start, like your starting position. There sure is a lack of life in this particular... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, holy shit, okay. Hey. Yo, you gonna open that mouth, or... I got an achievement called Gradpa. I guess that was my Gradpa. Sir, he, do you read me? Who is that? Oh, you were alive. I knew it. I knew you would find me. We have so much to do. Who are you? This is your grandpa. What are you talking about? Igor is dead. Oh, I am one foot in the grave for about 30 years now. This has to be some joke. No, no, your name is Sergi and your dad is Hadion. You haven't seen me for the past 10 years, but this is me. Your voice is similar to my granddad's. This is me. Listen, we have a critical talk to do. I am in the underwater facility. I can't leave. The toy I gave you, do you have it? I do. Great. How much did your dad tell you? He told me you, Igor, were dead, but now you are alive. Are you 100 years old or something? What is going on? 102 years to be precise. I asked him to send you here. I need help. Didn't he tell you? Oh, he actually said to visit you. I didn't think he was literal. What about the island? The island is real. The one piece is real. The toy with the red head I gave you is a copy of an ancient statue. At first, I thought it was a regular artifact, but later I discovered it had a number of unknown properties. I believe it is responsible for the forming of a new island. Okay. I need you to find three green tables scattered. Ta tables scattered? That sounds like a fucked up German word, like schadenfreude. <laughs> Find three green tables scattered around somewhere here. I needed to finish my research. I almost, I am almost done with my research. If I'm correct, we can retake our land first here and later all around the world. We need to work together. Please help me. Okay, okay, we can do that. We're looking for three green tablets. So keep your eyes peeled, chat. Curse of corn. No, dude. Curse of corn is like. <laughs> Don't do that shit to me. I don't want to hear that. Have they tried finding the plug like in SpongeBob? That's corn. It's the same thing. It's it's the same thing. One of these days I feel like it's been long enough since these Sunday streams have started that we need to revisit some of the really really old ones. Go back. I don't think there are a lot of people who know the name Two Purple Switches, for example. I would be surprised if there were. Best of... Not even necessarily... Oh, shit! Wait, whale sharks are friendly. No, hey, bud. Water devoured you. That scared me? I mean, there's a fucking gigantic-ass whale shark behind you. Those Russian games again. Those were good. Those were good. You're a water bergen now? It's always been my dream to be a water bergen. Demonizing whale shark? Yeah, like a whale shark would not really be able to do all that much to you. I guess if they rammed into you like that. So, uh, that was a little bit of a startling experience. I'm not sure what the yellow is supposed to be. I guess, uh, wow, he's fast. What? I must have ran into a landmine. God damn it, water. Blessing of onions? No, no onions. Please. Please, God, no onions. Right into a mine? Yeah. I wasn't minding my own business. So do you think that guy's still chasing me? Or am I... Uh-oh, what is this? It's a quest. I kind of look like the He-Man said hey thing right now. The way I have the head tilted back. 
Not anymore. Is this just the tablet? Iger, do you read me? I found the first tablet. Good job. The first wall was destroyed. Now you can access the middle part. This is extremely important. You are doing well so far. Follow this mine. Follow the mine. You will approach the next part. I don't know precisely where the second tablet is, so you must explore the ocean. Why haven't you contacted me for years? I was too busy on my excavation project. I should have let you know that I am well and alive. I thought I would die soon anyway, so it's better to not bother you. But I was able to live much longer than I expected. How did you live for so long? Shouldn't you be like on your deathbed? It's not a miracle, but the artifact that I found one day gave me the power to survive for that long. What is that artifact? I will show you when we meet. You actually already know what it is. The toy I gave you is a copy of it. The creepy red head. The red head, yes. It is one of the most fascinating things I have ever found. You will understand when you see it. All right. So I'm, I'm like, kind of not fully understanding what he said. He said it's somewhere in the ocean. So do I just wander around? Grandpa's going to show you his head. Oh, I thought you meant, like, he was going to give me the grapefruit technique. Hello, Crytagonist. That would have been kind of cool. There need to be more aquatic ambient noises. Change my color in celebration of your color change. What should I change my color to, JFC? You're going to give JFC a boner. Like, another man, especially you, asking, like, what do you want me to be? It's going to be exciting for him. Be careful. I wish there was, like, friendly aquatic wildlife just chilling. It's regrettable that the only thing we've seen is an angry whale shark. I want to swim with a whale shark one day. I've always thought you were very pink-coated. What a thing to say. Chat, what color do you think I'm coated as? What? Er? Orange? Light blue, red, pink, blue, orange, red, tan, white, red, pink, aqua, blue, milk, pink, purple, green, white, gay, red, white, teal, white, dark blue, dark green, teal, rainbow. Seems like uh, gay and red are the predominant choices. Guess that's fine. Black, dark red, blue. Need to get my horoscope done. Need to need to get my astrology shit going. Orange. I think orange is one of my least favorite colors, though. So that's weird. Not a big orange guy. I mean, the the oranges to eat and screwdrivers to drink are great, but like the color is. I don't know. Orange is my favorite color. Here I am caught without my astrometer. I know, it's it's embarrassing. I thought you would be able to tell me my my, my destiny. It's so your astrological sign. I think it's a Leo. So I was like, Row! fucking lion shit, you know? You got the romantic soul of a lion or something like that. Purple's a good color. Well, purple is... The color of royalty, and I'm not that. My parents are both Tauruses. So what is it like having two Ford Tauruses as parents? Like, how did that affect you at school, for example? I will put 12 p.m.? What do you mean? I'm confused. really drove them insane asking for time of birth oh fuck like I don't remember I think it was early in the morning like 5 or 6 a.m. but I don't really recall I 
I ended up going nowhere important really quickly. I have a feeling we're going to be wandering around in this nightmare for a while. Looking for tablets in all the wrong places. How could you forget? You seem like a 7 to me. That's the highest anyone's ever said. So I'll take it. Okay. Where the fuck... It seems like there's a bunch of stuff up here, so maybe this way. Red bobblehead, a doll. It's some sort of artifact that gives you some manner of, like, either prolonged life or immortality. I'm not certain, but it's, it's an artifact that contains some power. Just hasn't exactly been, uh, ascertained what the power is. The power to give mad head. Power to become a Pez dispenser whenever you want. I don't know. I really like Pez, though. I'm one of the only people who is, like, a big Pez head. I think that shit is cash. But it's so expensive for what you get. Do you read me? I found the second tablet. Good job. Now is the final part ahead. Follow the mines and you will enter a final part. Don't know where the final where is the final tablet, so you need to explore. Literally go to World Market to refresh my Pez stash. Hmm, dude. I want a Pez stash. God damn it. Is there like a place where you can get wholesale Pez for cheap? Maybe I shouldn't think of, like, ask questions like that, because I'm going to get diabetes. I, I should not allow myself to have a large uh, amount of this stuff. Hold on. You go inside of a building. Mmm, pog ears. Pez Emporium. What's in here? Surely it's going to be something good, right? Weight loss journey ruined by the Pez. I think the weight loss journey has been a success, though. 40 pounds in, in like, three-fourths of a year is pretty good. Maybe, like, 35 to 40 pounds. I'm not exactly sure. So I think I've won for now. Now I can eat a bunch of hot Cheetos, and then we can do it all again. How much Pez do you have to guzzle to gain weight? I'd be more worried about the effects on the teeth and, like, excessive sugar consumption. You'd probably have to eat a disgusting amount to actually put on weight. Like, maybe, like, 25 packs a day? I'm not sure. Let me look up, like, Pez Nutritional Info. Um, oh, never mind. Apparently it's, it's 388 calories per 100. Wait, what? I need like the easy to read label. Okay. Three servings per container. So per container, does that mean one roll? Okay, so a roll, I guess, is like 35 calories. So it comes in eight. I'm not great at math. That would be what, like 280 calories per regular package of Pez? So I think if you were to eat 9 to 10, you'd be in the upper range of the 2000s in calorie consumption with Pez. So that like do that every day and you'll probably be fat within half a year. But you'd be eating like fucking what? 64 to 80 rolls of Pez a day to just get fat off of Pez. Hello famed Ultra Fox. That's a lot. That's a fucking lot of pets, dude. That's a shit ton.
I don't think I could eat that much if I tried. 60 fucking four? Do that every day, you'd probably be dead within the year. I don't know, man. Like, maybe, but... I, if you only ever ate Pez, yeah, you would probably, like, have some sort of malnutrition issue that would kill you. But people... People have consumed bizarre amounts of things like Pez and been fine for a while. I heard a woman got skinny eating literally just one burger every 24 hours. Well, it goes back to the diet discussion. Like, you don't get fatter eating pizza provided you eat an acceptable amount of calories of pizza. Like, if it's 2,000 calories of pizza or 2,000 calories of, like, a, a healthy Subway pasta or whatever the fuck, that's still going to provide the same results as far as weight is concerned, right? Something is moving. That, uh-oh. Hello, lost cup holder. It's gonna have other, like, obviously, if you eat, like, pasta versus pizza, like, pizza's not exactly known for being uh, high in other nutritional values, but it really is, for the most part, about the calories. So if you eat an absolute dog shit burger, and that burger's 1,500 calories, but that's literally all you eat, your entire caloric budget for the day, you're not gonna get fat off of it. Unless you have some sort of weird disorder. Heard a woman got fat eating one person every 24 hours, like a whole person. A huge AFC, every bit, bones, organs, and all ground up and put into 40 large patties of meat. These are probably still better than others. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is it healthy to eat, like, just pizza every day, even if it's a sm small amount calorically? No, of course not. But you're probably just going to be unhealthy and skinny. That's my goal. I want to be unhealthy and skinny. I just don't want to be big. I want to be a big boy. I cannot find this last tablet, dude. We are in the abyss right now. How do you handle the hunger pangs? Eating a pickle is good. Pickles have like maybe 20 calories a pickle. And they're filling. They're surprisingly filling for what they are, and they're tasty. Sometimes if I'm really hungry, I'll eat two pickles. Pickles are one of the best things for, for that, I think. I love my motherfucking pickles, dog. Buy the peanut butter does it for me. Where on God's green earth is this last tablet, bros? The only thing you need to be considerate about with pickles is if you have, like, really high blood pressure or something, I guess. But I think the the last time I did my blood pressure, I was, like, 115 over, like, 75. So I'm good in the blood pressure department. Follow the minds? Yes, but I've done that with two paths already. I'm not sure which is the third and final path that will lead me to the place I haven't been. In general, you gotta find the, uh, you gotta find it by following these squares on the mini-map. Like vegetables are supposed to keep you feeling full longer. It's been a while since the whale shark has tried to ruin our day. Talk about food is making me hungry. I'm actually not hungry at all right now, thankfully. I had two chicken sandwiches for dinner. I'm good to go. Gotta be sure to check in that every once in a while. If you go over 80, it's no good. Yeah, it's it's gone down. I was in like the 120s, 130s, but surprisingly enough, with my weight, my blood pressure is going down a little too, although it's never been in like really a really bad range. Autumn is the one who has to worry about blood pressure. She's like gonna explode into a fountain of blood one day. I'm just going to be talking to her about, like, sparkle dogs, and she's just going to pop into a fountain of gore. Man. I'm trying to find this place, I swear. Hey, Autumn, can you do me a favor? Do you love me? Do you love me and want me to prosper? Can I get a drink refill situation, please? I'm... My, my whistle needs to be wet a little bit. 
because she works in the public. I don't know, dude. Like, I know, I know streaming's not exactly the hardest thing in the world, but sometimes, like, when people are doing things in Discord or talking, talking to you in the, uh, the chat, it does make your blood pressure go up a little bit. Like, sometimes you're, you read a comment and you just, you want to yell a little bit. Me when I'm begging for the 5090, my liver enzymes are so bad, doctors make me see a liver specialist to see what's happening. What makes your blood pressure go up? So personally for me, I would say a commonality with things that irritate me in chat is when I'm trying very hard to specifically be delicate discussing a certain topic or another and people are intentionally being obtuse and get like taking everything I say in the least charitable way possible. Like if I talk about how I personally think that, um, you know, rapists are bad. Uh, so I notice you're suspiciously quiet about murderers to Lomeo, like that kind of thing. Where they're just being like motherfuckers, you know? Pee? Yes, please. And Diet Coke. That irritates me because I try really hard to, like, preface things so they're not taken uh, that way by people who are being deliberately obtuse. But, good, now you need to deliver them to me. However, this is not a simple task. You need to get through the old tunnels. The entrance into the sewers is in the middle of the north. Several trails can lead you there. Got you. We'll, we'll be lading there. Murder? No, I think murder is justifiable in some circumstances. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, there have been times where I've thought about, you know, this person is like a domestic abuser. I think, you know, it probably would be better if someone just killed them. Uh, I'm not going to pretend that I haven't thought that. I would never do it. But I'm not, I'm not going to be, you know based in epic i don't think you should do that i think being a vigilante is almost always a completely stupid idea but i'm not gonna like if someone goes and kills like a serial child molester i'm not gonna be like oh you know i can't believe they're a murderer wow <laughs> like you know doesn't mean i i i i uh i'm advocating for that i definitely don't advocate for vigilante shit in general but I think there have probably been a few instances where murder hasn't necessarily been an altogether bad thing. As an arrow ace person, I think murder is way more logical and understandable. Okay, well... Some people don't deserve to have tears shed over their deaths. But it's also tough because it's like... I don't know, man. I know, I know that it's, it's okay to not agree with that. Like, I'm not gonna get in your, up in your ass if you don't agree with me on that. That's okay. But there's definitely been times where I'm like, sometimes the the legal system doesn't fucking work the way it should, and I understand getting upset about that. Just not to the point of taking justice into your own hands. But I would be, it would be hard for me to condemn someone who felt that way. Submarine, this is Frank. Do you read me? Who is this? The reason for trespassing? I am investigating the land rise in a region. Are you Carpathian? I am. What is your position? Are you from patrol? Do you know? Igor. People have been getting mad at me for saying Igor and saying Igor. So I'm going to say it like... Don't say it so fast. Don't say it so fast. Oh. <laughs> No, no, not, no, no, okay. I was going to say Eeyore, but then it would have been too obvious. Please answer my question. You guys see racism everywhere. See, I don't see that shit. Thank you, Cron Cat, for the 26-month resub. I appreciate it. This is, this is, this is a you thing. This isn't a me thing. I am not from patrol. I've been tracking your call with Eeyore. My advice to you is not to do anything he suggests. Why? He is not what you think he is. That is a servant of Tlaloc. What is that? An ancient god, the god of water and rain. He is here and he is watching. This is nonsense. I'm hanging. A slur? No, it didn't sound like a slur unless that's what you're trying to hear, brother. I'm sorry. It's just like the people who get like like a little bit tense when I say chigger. 
It's a bug that exists in Texas. It's microscopic. It is a mite that will crawl on you and bite you, and it's intensely itchy. You're just being a little, uh, a little too vigilant on this thing, I think. But I understand. I don't see the same sort of response given to the Mesa maggots, for example. Exist across a lot of southern U.S. And yeah, I really, like, remember when I was telling you guys that I got a bug bite? Holy shit. Okay, um, I got a bug bite and I saw this life hack where if you put nail polish on it, it stops it from itching. That's okay. Whoa! Yeah. Big boy. Or gal, really, right? It has caused my... Yes, uh, it would be a female. It has caused the bug bite on my arm to be, like, several quarters in diameter. Like, it is, it is taken over a significant portion of my forearm. So probably don't do the nail polish thing. Yeah, it hasn't worked out. Yeah, don't do that. It did stop it from itching, but I don't know if it's oh, been overall oh, helpful. Oh. Well, Recon, uh, it's a good thing you weren't here a few minutes earlier. How are you, ma'am? What's up? Seven-letter word for people who annoy you. Bastard. Seven letters. Um... I'm chilling. How about you? Uh, I'm about to get my ass eaten by an anglerfish. Children. Um... Sounds like a good time. I know this one. Know what? That's eight? Is it really? Oh. Always scared of <laughs> typing the sniffy emote because if I press the next letter on my keyboard by accident instead of F, I'm getting banned. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, there is a word that... I don't really want to say it because you guys are doing that, that, that interpretation thing. But you can, um... Uh, there is a word that sounds suspiciously a lot like a slur that starts with the letters S N. It's like a laugh or like a like a giggle. Oh yeah. But it's a real word. Uh it's all that, yeah. How's bingo been going so far? We've played only masterpieces today. Despite this having the most compelling premise, I think this is the worst one I've played today, maybe. But it's not that it's bad, it's just that it's... The others were so amazing. See, I can't get away from this fucker. Boring? I don't know if I'd say it's boring. We're being, we're being ew. diddled by ew, an anglerfish. Ew, 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 ew. Uh, sticking its probe up your ass. It's not hurting Oh shit, you. oh shit. Dude, we're homies, we're homies. Oh, you're just riding it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not Snicker. It's It sounds a lot like it, but it's different. Yeah. I, I literally can't spell it, or it would sound like I'm spelling out a racist word. Basically, add S to the beginning of the N word. <laughs> yeah, more or less. <laughs> it must be like advanced racism. It's the same thing as Snicker, probably an archaic version that isn't used anymore for obvious reasons. Thought you were friends. I think the collision on his little antenna thing yeah. makes it to where it doesn't hurt me, but it pushes me away from his hurt box, so it's hard for him to actually kill me unless I move into him. But I'm confident the payoff for this game is going to be amazing. I'm going to go eat. Okay, have fun. He just moved me with the fucking lure. I wish he would let me get past him. It's really difficult. I'm about to eat my GF Susania while watching the stream. Is that a euphemism? What is... You know what? You know what? Don't even, you know, elaborate on it. He's guarding a stash of hot Cheetos. Didn't know this was a word. Yeah. Yeah. There's, uh... 
There's a lot of words. Only ever the only time I ever heard that word was used in used in the wild was my ex who was from the UK I had to double take when she said it. They also have another word in the UK for underwear that sounds suspiciously like a racist word. He's not. They activated idiot baby easy mode. Oh no, okay. He actually just went far down there this time. Alright, no easy baby mode this time. He just actually pathed properly, I suppose. Okay, cool. Don't... Come on. Someone someone, time that word out, please. Cheap or miserly, that's also a no-go, but that one seems like it might actually be a branch off being racist, so it's better off left in the past. Why is Autumn laughing at that? Like, what an evil racist woman. Oh, what Cool said? I gotcha. Oh no, a word in the English dictionary. Listen, you need to believe me, you will see. When Eeyore will be talking to you about... Ask him about the god, listen to what he'll say. Okay, cool. I don't think it's that anyone in here is upset. You just gotta be careful with that because we have had a moderator banned for making a joke about, like, being a robot. We have had a moderator banned to the point where he had to send his ID in for saying, like, uh, I'm X age and what is this? It's, it's about, like, uh... You know, you you gotta be, you gotta watch out for the Twitch fuzz. They're trigger happy. I don't think anyone's like uh, particularly upset. You just gotta be. Wait, what the fuck? Fuck you. Oh no, am I? I thought that was a checkpoint. Hello, XC. Can't do the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta be careful. Don't say your age chat. There's, there's a Twitch bot that is scripted to auto-ban you. Yeah. It's not even the Twitch fuzz. It's bots that ban you. I feel like Jenna's was not an auto-mod situation, though. I guess it's possible. But the actual thing she was copying... Those accounts weren't banned, but she was. 23 they can't get me dude i'm 31 man i you know it, it's getting to the point where people don't even know like how old i am and the, that sounds masturbatory but like in the sense that last night a a really nice guy i'm not saying this to be mean whatsoever i promise and i swear named dalo came in and was like Have, can you believe you've been streaming for six years and i'm like we're approaching nine you know, time's flying. It's been a long time since 2015. It's, uh... It's been a while. Been a little bit. And I'm, I'm not, like, upset. and like, how oh, you don't even know how long I've been streaming. Ugh. It's not, like, an unwarranted self-importance thing. But I'm, it's just, like, to point out, it's getting to the point where it's legitimately, like, holy shit. Like, how long has this been happening? Gonna be in the fucking nursing home with the Tolomites at this rate. Fucking playing Miney Carp Brown Bricks Rat Server 57. These anglerfish need to suck a dick. I don't have a sprint right now. And I don't have a boost mobile. 2015 followers? Yeah, yeah, it's all good. He's a really nice guy. He doesn't stop in too terribly frequently, but when he does, he's always just like a... Like a, like a bucket of sunshine. Fuck. Shit. The tits are going up, brothers. Turn around. Turn around. Holy fuck, dude. Submarine acrobatics. Cirque de submarine. Right here. Right now. We're in it. I don't think he can swim up. Yeah, I'm owning him. Sexual style right now. 
Skyrim is a teenager this year? Yeah, Dovahkin is a teenager too. Remember that shit where it's like, hey, name your kid after uh, Skyrim and you'll get our games. And then they just stop making games. You think that his parents feel foolish now after naming their child Dovahkin? They hear Starfield. 13 years old and all we got is Starfield, dude. Like, I guess Fallout 4, uh, you know, yippee. Pretty sick name. He almost as assuredly gets punched. In 76, Todd Howard's a master troll. So I would really, like, genuinely like to see what that tower has to say, but I'm not feeling like I'm uh, able to do it with this guy up my ass right now. I'm in a little bit of a tumultuous situation at the moment. If he yells at his bullies, they die. Sir, can you please fuck off? Oh, good. What a delightful uh, encounter here. And we gotta start all the way back. Man, okay. This is a rough one, guys. This game dev is fucked up. First land submarine dodge JPEG. I'm gonna try to remember where to go. Time for game freeze. But think about it. Think about like like lesser rats. Boost only works as long as I have the orbs of urine in the top right. I have a certain amount of times I can boost. There, there probably aren't a lot of people who have seen the end of this game. This could be, like, something special for us. The Anglerfish Gauntlet. The game is pretty damn new. This is maze. Yeah, this definitely qualifies as a maze at this point. It has dead ends where you get owned by Anglerfish now, so... Catch just sniffed up my whole beard after I showered. It was adorable. Say with 100% confidence, any game streamed on this channel I've never seen before. What about Dark Souls? What about Bloodborne? What about Stealth? I mean, you can run away. It's not like you lose when you get caught. There's no sneaking. You can just wait. Would have loved that last week. Dude, I think I'm going to... Maybe today I'm going to open up that bag of hot Cheetos Autumn got me yesterday. I'm going to fuck some cheaters up. Also, um, does the cat accident count as a soft lock? What? No, because I could have respawned, and I, I just restarted the race. Okay, this is actually going swimmingly right now. I just want a bingo. That's okay. We've got several more games. I think it, you have a good chance of getting it tonight. Just be patient. There's a lot more where this is coming from. Uh, I just think that now the risk is that a lot of the games are longer. Like, I really don't have that many really short ones now. So, does any game ever have jiggle physics? Yeah, it's happened a couple times. What do I win with my bingo? Uh, the Discord has a you know, a specific list, but the TLDR is one bingo. You can get, like, whatever name color you want in the Discord. Three bingos. You can get whatever role icon in Discord. You get a custom role. If you don't care about Discord shit, which I wouldn't blame you, I don't. Uh, at five wins, you can force me to play an hour of, like, an indie game of your choice, provided, uh, you know, I haven't played it or whatever. Hello, Noodle. So when I played that Yu-Gi-Oh! RTS and that strange, like, uh, psychedelic shmup, those were both bingo requests from JFC and Little Baby Minx. And if you get to 10, if you get to 10, you can get me to do an NSFW game. I love you, but the Discord's kind of AIDS. No, not really. The Discord is in a pretty good spot. Maybe in the past you would have had a point, 
but I think the Discord's probably the best it's ever been. The only thing I would say about the Discord that maybe needs a little bit of work is there are instances of like, if you step on the wrong side of an opinion, there are a couple people who will jump you. I get a little too aggressive with defending their side. I don't think it's to the point where people are actually like terrible to each other or anything like that, but it is a little off-putting, admittedly. But if that's the worst... Like, that happens in here sometimes, too. It's really not that big of a deal most of the time. But back in the day, like in 2015, it was... Uh... <laughs> Whew. It sure was interesting. All right. Hello? Me again? I am lonely here. Can I talk to you? I'm on a mission. Really busy right now. I like to talk about sex. The Discord being safe for work as it is very eager to discuss some topics. How many bingos to bring back the Elden Ring channel? Not gonna happen. Back in the day, I didn't talk in Discord at all. Like, I'm not a big talker in Discord. So. I get it. But the Discord's really not that bad. I think, uh, you know, I was having a conversation with you know, wheelchair man about this topic, funnily enough, that I think there's points where it must seem like really daunting to talk in either the stream or the discord because it's kind of, it can be a little clicky sometimes. So coming into like, like we have a bunch of inside jokes, like, oh, Cifferoni moment, cool 109 love moment. J like we all know each other. Like not, we're not all friends or buddies or anything like that, but there's, an established social group, right? Um, so if you're a, a new person, it can maybe be a little daunting to jump into that. But I really like it when new people talk and, you know, try to integrate and join. So hopefully it's not too bad. A very tight knit. See, I don't necessarily want that to be the case, though. Like, I don't want it to be like a fucking super click tight knit. I want people to like each other and get along and. I think it's cool that people make, like, groups of friends and play video games. But I also don't want it to be like, holy shit, this is just, like, completely impossible to approach. Unless I'm already in the group. Hello, Mian, what's up? How are the Gundams going? What are some Tolomeo moments? Uh, probably, like, uh, ejaculating on my mother's pillow. Ejaculating on the hotel room floor. Grandpa... Hello, Sergi. You made it. Where can I find you? I am afraid I overestimated the distance. You need to make a lot more for us to meet. Grandpa, do you know anything about Talak? Why do you ask? I am just wondering. Well, I know something. We believe this god was first a rain god, but actually is a god of the ocean. Some cults believe that god is responsible for the flooding, but this is coping. <laughs> 102-year-old say That's cult, dog. That's cat. For real, for real. That's some bullshit. Some some billabong bullshit. People are the only ones responsible for this disaster. I've been studying artifacts related to Talak, and they emit a strange energy. I am not sure the nature of this power, but maybe we can use it. I got you. How many people are there around you? I don't know anyone who can live here. We probably couldn't find any humans for approximately 100 kilometers. What's the plan? Follow the mines again? Okay. Well, Oaktree, I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't think that I... From my perspective, like I think that the the stream chat is not uh, that bad for new people. I can understand maybe the Discord. Um, I try not to make it that way, but I think a lot of it, you know, admittedly, I think most people are pretty welcoming, and if you you put yourself out there, most people are gonna be receptive to that. But the Discord, yeah, I can kind of see it. Is there a reason for mines being everywhere? Which that's better because most people don't read what you say unless Tolo responds to it. I think people are a lot less eager to like dogpile one motherfucker when I'm when I'm they know I'm watching too. It was more dawning day. Yeah, I can understand that because you know not to suck my own dick, but I think I do a reasonably good job of like integrating new people. And if you don't have like uh 
the streamer there, it can be a little more intimidating, maybe. Part of the problem? I No, I don't think so. I think, you know, most people, I hope, see me as a relatively no. neutral party that's not going to be like, oh, <laughs> fuck you, new person, right? Don't even really have much to... No, I'm really the same. I'm not particularly talkative in my own Discord most of the time, so I get it. I don't I definitely do not talk in other people's discords like at all. I think the only thing No, I'm not saying I hate lurkers. I'm just saying like if you were someone who's apprehensive about it uh but you want to, you know, I don't think it's that bad. If you don't want to say shit, I get that too. Cuz I also don't say shit. I If you could know the amount of times I have thought about like responding to a comment or something on the internet and typing like three sentences out and saying, you know what? No one gives a shit and then just deleting it. Like that happens more often than like actual interactions do for me. Like, like halfway through talking, it's like, why do I give a shit? <laughs> like, who fucking cares, dude? So... I'm that kind of person. I get it. I really do. I'm not just saying that to pander to the lurkers. I understand. I, I I try to be more sociable, but I'm really just not. Someone's being mean to you? Yeah, you know what? Like, if someone is being, like, cruel to you, if you're a new person in the Discord, uh, you can message me if someone's legitimately being awful. Uh, I think that... If you're having problems, like, I don't mind me people messaging me. I've been told that, like, people have left the Discord and it's, like, kind of my fault because I'm not approachable enough. And I, I, I don't I don't really see that personally. I don't think I've ever been, like, why the fuck are you messaging me this? Like, who cares to anybody? But maybe that is, in fact, the perception people have. Uh, Grandpa, you read me? Sure. What about the redhead toy? Does it have something to do with Talak? Maybe you're like, I'm worried about bothering someone. I do not care. Um, if you were being made to feel shitty in either my stream or my Discord, I do not want that. Unless you're just like... It, it's different if you're saying, like, why won't they let me, you know, discuss the merits of Mein Kampf? Like, if that was the case, then I would probably not be on your side. <laughs> but for the most part, you know? For the most part, you, you you're not going to bite. Unless you're, like, really, really, really fucking, like, asking for it. It has to do with Tia Locks, dog. Here we go, another tunnel. Oh, yippee, dude. Yeehaw. I wish there were more, like, friendly whales, dude. Like, it's weird to me to use the ocean as a setting for a game and have so little life occupying it. Like, yeah, I get that it must be pretty hard to make, like, models and animations for these things, but... Oh, my God. Okay, so I got an achievement for Tunnel 2. This is a Steam game. Holy shit. I need to show you guys something. I need to show you guys something that you were probably both not going to believe and completely and totally believe at the same time. So Steam has like a achievement rates for how many people uh, manage to get certain achievements. And I think this might be the singular steepest drop off I have ever seen for a video game. 60% of people have gotten to Grandpa, and 0 0.1 have gotten to Tunnel 1. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Good God. And that's... This is Tunnel 2. Wow. Maybe I... I you know, I was kind of joking about being the first to see the end of this, but it might actually... Might actually end up being the case. Okay. Well, now I have to finish it, right? To be fair, it has one review, but that's still insane. That's still insane 
Because starting the game has a 100% rate, right? So for the numbers to add up to being it even being possible for 0.1% of people to have an achievement, that would mean that there's a decent number who have at least booted up the game, right? Game got two players total. Let's see. It says 33% on my end. Okay, well, maybe it's such a small sample size that uh, it's hard to make, like, accurate statistics for it sort of thing. Because 60% have grandpa. It doesn't really matter that much. Hey, submarine guy, I have not introduced myself. I am Frank. What is your name? Sergey. Nice to meet you. Have you met those giant fishes? They are all over the place. It is actually abnormal for that kind of fish to be so huge. Well, probably, but I saw a similar species. It can get weirder. Recently, I found a fish with a human part that wasn't in its stomach. Actually, the part was growing on the fish. Are you kidding? No, something strange is going on here. I wanted to ask how long ago you saw your granddad last time. Long time ago, years Think about this. You've not seen him for a long time, and now he will contact you just when you go into this mission. Okay. Someone fucked that fish. Can I fuck that fish? Can I fuck that fish? Can I fuck that fish? Don't fucking turtle haw me. Come on. Why don't why do you guys lack this sort of like a uh, reprimanding energy when it comes to your fellow chatters? So sissy hypnosis. If fish didn't want to be fucked, they wouldn't be tube shaped. Okay. Laughed Mr. Tolo. I laughed out loud. Thank you, Noodle. I know if nobody's got me, Noodle's got me. I'll hold you to a higher standard. No, dude, that's not true, because there is some... I mean, it might be true, but, like, there is some bulletproof motherfuckers in here. There was some... Like, people have said they're, like, staffers for fu fucking politicians. People have been, like, chemists. People have worked for the Big G. There's some ballers in here, so you should hold people like me so way higher than me. I'm just a fucking Texan rube. I'm a yokel. Who the fuck am I? I don't have a master's degree. Fuck, I don't even have a bachelor's degree. I'm just a just a country boy. Why the fuck do you expect anything out of me? <laughs> I'm a streamer. I'm a clown, remember? Hello, ABC. Nice is a right-wing politician. That would be fucking funny. That would be fucking funny. Like, the guy who was saying that... Um, he works in a place where uh, Mitch McConnell's wife, Elaine Chow, is on the board of representatives or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know shit about corporations. What if that was just Misa? What if Misa was Elaine and whenever she's talking about her hubby, she's talking about Mitch McConnell? Wouldn't that be the funniest fucking thing in the world? <laughs> that would be the best shit ever, dude. never read chat back then but how did chat react to Moz's shenanigans um understandably the most of the time at first people would interact a little bit but then he would just dominate the conversation to the point where people just got exhausted and stopped talking and you would look into the chat and it would be like 17 pages of Moz posts telling like oak tree to be afraid of the grass um and all sorts of weird shit so like honestly it it's not like a morally the worst thing he said or done but from like the perspective of having a stream that level of just like shutting down chat with psycho babble was the worst part about Moz. even if some really funny things happened as a result of it sometimes i miss joe i don't really miss joe i can't say i miss joe or Moz. Morally worse things he did. Well, he said some very questionable things, for sure. Anyone got the Joe copy pasta? Spam so hard, there was an understood to be a pre and post Moz. That's true, yeah, yeah. There's a point where I was saying, like, there's three phases of the stream. There's the pre-stream, there's the Moz section of the stream, and there's the post-Moz section of the stream. 
And the post boss was characterized by nobody talking at all because it just everyone was like lost interest after getting Moz pilled. Locking up a chat like that takes great power. Yeah. Frank, I think you're close to me. Now go into the tunnel in the north. I'll lose you there. Now you're on your own. Whole streams were focused on them. I get that. A main character of the stream. I only... Like, I don't really mind. Like, I don't care if I... Like, I don't always have to be the center of attention. If there's someone particularly funny and everyone's focused on them, like, that is fine with me. Um... The problem is when, like, for example, with Joe, it goes from, like, a funny fascination thing to, like, let's all get Joe to stream, like, Devil May Cry and actually abuse him during his stream like he's DSP. That's when it's like, okay, well, this is not doing anything for anyone. We should probably uh, just go ahead and, like, ban this fucker. <laughs> like, this is not productive in any sense. Joe actively tried to annoy people. What the fuck is that? I think, dude, we just summoned Mausolus into the game. Holy shit. Okay. That... That didn't look like it had human parts on it, though. Blotted out the sun... Are we still in Australia? No, I don't believe we are. We're in the Black Sea, if I recall correctly. Try to be actively annoying. I thought he just considered... Yeah, so... Like, uh, with Joe. Some people said that there's no way he could be, like, 20, early 20s, like he claimed. Like, it was just in... It, because of how childlike he was at times. But I think it... it I think he was like you know if i look back on it like i don't think joe was malicious and i don't think he had the function to be a like an active liar honestly and i think with him you largely just had to take things at face value and he didn't realize that he was annoying people most of the time um that's still not a it doesn't mean that, that he needs to be here but i just think of like what you saw with joe was just the truth of the matter do you think Joe really... Well, yeah, I know for a fact, because I at one point thought Joe was a liar, too. And we've been talking about this story a lot, but it's one of the funniest things that's ever happened in the, like, almost nine years of streaming. Um, he would start, like, saying, my brother thinks your stream is dog shit, or something like that. Or my brother said, you're mid at this game. And I thought that this was, like, some fucking like harebrained idea to like oh i'm going to say annoying things under the guise of it being my brother so i don't have to take accountability or be responsible for the things that i'm saying so i called him a liar i i thought that the brother was made up and i told him that because he would talk about how his brother had been fired from multiple jobs for going on about abortion to women at in the workplace and then fast forward a couple weeks i'm on the phone with joe's brother and he's real and i'm surprised and i question him hard i press him very hard about the cum sock thing and he he was like do you really want to know and like that's a fucking admission right there like he's like no denial like he was holding the information over my head and after like five minutes of pressing him on it he told me that the reason he needed to come into socks is because his loads were huge. There was nothing else that was adequate for containing the huge, like, globs of semen that he produced when he masturbated. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm not even embellishing this a little bit. <laughs> like, that was the rationale for the thing with the socks. Um, and I was like, I couldn't believe it. Like, there are very few instances where I am just, like, absolutely at a loss for words with something somebody says to me. Like, I, it takes a lot to just render me speechless when talking to people on the internet, but he managed to do it. Like, I had no fucking clue how to react to that statement. Um, it was funny as fuck, though. Like, it really was. It really was. And I don't think that's... And a good reason to ejaculate in socks. Oh shit, that looked like a skate. Or a saw shark. Okay. 
That is a skate, I think. Maybe? Uh-oh. Shit. Oh. Uh. Damn, speed hacks? Speed hacks? Real Chinese hacker to Lomeo speed run? The shark's eating you out. Yeah, is this what it's like to be a lady? Just chilling in your bed and your hobby comes in. Whoop, and you know it's time. Don't make, don't post the daisy face at me, baby. Come on. Um. Shit, shit, shit. Please, please. I'm so close. Please, skate. Holy shit, he actually, like, Chinese 3,000 CS per five minutes uh, hacked me into getting there faster. Okay, we're in tunnel three, everybody. 0.1% of players have this achievement. I'm starting to think that this game was maybe not play tested as much as it should have been. Or at all. Yeah, it's surprisingly long for something like this too, right? Uh -oh. I do have a fascination with it though. I, I want to see the end. I'm not convinced it's going to be a worthwhile expenditure of time. But there's something weirdly compelling about this to me now. Especially now that I know that nobody is like beat this fucking game. Like that's how you get me suckered into something. Like if I know... That there's not, like, a million fucking people who have seen the end of the game. I'm, a, regardless of the quality, I'm way more motivated to be, like, a trailblazer. A pioneer for, uh, games of questionable quality. What's going on, Scribble? This game is interesting. It is, uh, not the greatest. It's not the worst. Fucked off. You're so brave. It's not really a bravery thing. I just like seeing... I mean... Think about it, right? Like, have you ever found something that was just like... A movie or a show or a game or something like that? And you were pretty confident that, like, no one had seen the end of it. And, you know, you just kind of wanted to see what it was about. Maybe you found a person on the internet, like a particular crazy person, saying some weird shit, and it was like your little well-kept secret. Maybe it's just a me thing. I'm kind of an extreme novelty seeker, so... Like, I get, uh... I get a huge th thrill out of things like Worm Game and Shipwrecked, par partially because... Maybe not so much in the case of Shipwreck, but for Worm Game... That felt, like, mostly untouched by people. And that was a huge part of the appeal. Even though the game was also really fucking good. Okay, maybe try going a different direction. Golden doesn't search for things. That's okay, too. Um, it's alright to enjoy things in a different way. But, like, think about it. Some of my best streams have been directly because of that tendency. Like, the X Ross Generations RPG Maker stream, for example. Like, what kind of fucked up psychopath would see, like, a game that's RPG Maker with, like, the back Yardigans and the little Einsteins and Yu Gi Oh! as the main characters and be like, yes, I think this is something that is valuable and needs to be explored in depth on a stream? Um. You kind of have to be a specific type of psycho. Fear and Hunger was one of those? Kind of, yeah. I remember Fear and Hunger. I wasn't sure if chat would have wanted me to watch a turn-based RPG. Um, so I remember showing them screenshots of it and saying, like, Hey, do you, I don't think you guys will like this, but if you want, I can play it. And there was... If chat that night had acted a little differently, uh, I probably would not have streamed Fear and Hunger... Um, but they said they were interested in it, which, and then, like, we played for ten minutes, and then there was a guy saying he wanted to sexually violate me, 
So, uh, turn-based games are fun. I love turn-based games. Even, like, some of the dog shit, like, RPG Maker games that are really, really bad that have turn-based combat, I like those. Damn, he saw me from behind. That was fucked. I think it's partially because when I was a kid, some of the first games I played were Super Nintendo games. My parents played a lot of Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country 2 is one of my favorite games to this day. Probably still my favorite platformer of all time. I love Donkey Kong Country 3 as well. I'm not as big on 1. Um, but that's because I played it after 2 and 3, I think. But I also played Super Mario RPG. Now that game was frustrating for me as a child because I was really bad at it. Like, I got all the way to the final boss, but I needed my mom to help me beat Smithy. I was not good enough at Super Mario RPG to beat Smithy, which is kind of perplexing because... I'm not sure how I got that far and couldn't beat the final boss. Like, that is a little bit weird in retrospect. But, you know, since then I was hooked on those turn-based games. And it got even worse when I found out about Final Fantasy X. Did you play the remake? No. I did a stream of the original, like, last year, I think? Maybe the year prior? Somewhat recently. Not too long ago. Five minutes ago after seeing you play some. Yeah, it's a good game. Like, uh, Orange is a great dev. Deserves tons of support. Excited to see what he's going to do with uh, Fear and Hunger 2. Play the Lion King game? Yes, and I sucked ass at it. I never got made any progress with it. It took me a long time to get to the point where I appreciated anything re remotely resembling difficulty in a video game. When I was a teenager, around like 13, 14... One of the most embarrassing video game moments I had is I got Metroid Prime and I quit the tutorial because I did not like, like, on principle, having a section where I was timed. And so it took me, like, another year to, like, actually play it and end up loving it. But uh, I used to be very averse to anything even remotely resembling difficulty in games, like, to a really bizarre degree. This part's a little fucked. I didn't think this was gonna be so long. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hurry this up. We have more games. I know I know. being stuck on this one kind of is a momentum killer to a degree, but we're gonna see. I love seeing Orange responding to every comment for Fear and Hunger on Itch at first, really nice person. Yeah, when you first break into a creative endeavor and people are giving you the time of day, it's like a, an addictive feeling. Remember when I, you know, it's not the same thing. I'm not I'm not comparing this to how difficult it must be to play a video game, but saying that even like a fraction of that was enough to get me addicted to it. When I did like the Dark Souls challenge run stuff and people would be asking me questions, I would fucking I was thrilled to talk about like fucking Bloodborne BL four or whatever the hell, right? Hello Matt May. Used to cheat one hundred percent of the time at Morrowind. Me too. Me too. Yep. For me, it was Demon's Souls. Even with Demon's Souls, I played it like a reprobate. I, I used, like, all of the cheese imaginable. It was a dishonest playthrough. But I went back and played it for real, and I just... Then I started playing uh, more and more challenging stuff. Like, Wings of High, I think, to this day, is the hardest game I've ever beaten. Um, I played it on Demon Mode on the first run, and it took me... About 100 hours and 11,000 deaths to beat that game. Which is an obscene amount of time for like a side-scroller platformer thing. But I enjoyed it. I liked it. Feels good to have some expertise and share it. But now, I don't care as much these days. Now I think I'm kind of like uh, fully into the novelty-seeking behavior. I do not know how to get around this guy. I've streamed Stalker, Pop-Tart. Fury was challenging to finish. I was Fury's father. Like, I played that game, and my recollection of Fury is that I did... I actually, for once, did really well on a game the first time playing it. Something about that game just clicked with me, and I did not struggle too much with Fury. 
and I liked it a lot. Okay, so what are we doing about this? Which one? The first one. Okay, gotta like schmove. Your favorite RPG is Final Fantasy X. RPG overall would be Morrowind, but like turn based combat, Final Fantasy X and the first Xenoblade Chronicles, which is kind of turn based. Like those are my favorite JRPGs for sure. I really like SMT series as well. Nocturne is probably number three. I want to play Yakuza. I know. I'm sorry. Crystal Project. Yeah, Crystal Project is one of the best indie games I've ever played. Um, that's like... It, like, the turn-based combat in Crystal Project's really good, but that's not even, like, the necessarily what I love about it the most. It's like the... The fusion of that with the exploration that really gets me going. Good God, I hope the Crystal Project dev makes more games. That man is insane. Like, if you like turn-based games and you're okay with, like, a typical, fair indie graphics and exploration, please try Crystal Project on Steam. It is one of the best indie games I've ever played in the year. The Elden Ring came out. My favorite game was Crystal Project. And I really liked Elden Ring. I'm not being an Elden Ring hate of mans. It is, uh, it is an insane fucking game. But it's also... You have to be a certain person to enjoy it. Because it's got next to no story. And there's like an exploration with, with slight platforming challenges. So if that doesn't sound fun, then you may not like it as much. But uh, for me, it was like everything I wanted in a game like that. Going on a computer, I believe it's on the Nintendo Switch now. How many different types of people are there? Like classes? Or, or, or are you talking about Crystal Project? Super normie answer with it being Witcher 3. Witcher 3 was great. I was enjoying that game a lot. I was exploring everything and doing everything I could in like a completionist playthrough. There's actually lost media streams of me playing like the first 10 hours of Witcher 3. Went back when I streamed on the PS4 that nobody has, I hope. Um, played it on Death March first playthrough. But I got to Skellige and my save got corrupted. And I didn't have the heart to start over. So one of these days, I'm going to get back to it, maybe. But I, was, I wasn't really able to finish that one. Not necessarily because I lost interest, but... Okay, this achievement is called Water Final. Opinion on the last boss fight of Crystal Project. I think it's really good. I think it's really good because I think it's sort of like... It's very fitting for the game for what it is. I don't want to give spoilers, but I can understand. Like, I think Royland played it and said they were really disappointed with the final boss fight. But I think it is maybe the most thematically appropriate thing possible. What's going on here? Is this my grandpa? Hello, Sergi. You brought my artifacts back. Nice. Come closer. What is that? Uh-oh. So if this dude's like the, the big dick anglerfish, why are they attacking me? Can't he, like, communicate with them to let me free? Morrowind and Dark Souls are easily my favorite RPGs. I really like Dark Souls, of course. Um, you know, it's a meme to be like, ah, oh, Dark Souls bad, but I wouldn't have streamed those games for as long as I did if I didn't really enjoy them. I definitely, you know, once again, a little reluctant to admit it, but uh, the first time playing Dark Souls 1 really was something special. What is this all about? Why are you running from me? From you? Sure, come to me. There is a lot of place inside. Inside, you mean the stomach of this beast? What you saw is me. I prayed a lot to Talak, and he gave me this body. What are you talking about? This is not a human. This is not my grandpa. I am your grandpa. You have to see beyond the horizon to understand this. Go to hell. I am going to crush you. You can destroy me or join me. The choice is yours. This is a very strange take on the Morrowind tutorial. Anne Orlando the first time was amazing. Yeah, and I remember just like thinking Dark Root Garden was such a cool area too. 
Like, the exploration in that game is definitely top-notch. At least until you got past Dan Orlando. <laughs> once, you, uh, once you got past Ornstein and Small, enjoyment dropped a little bit. Play Demon Souls Remake? No, but I played Demon Souls a ton. Are you seeing a trend, Pamirum? Shit. I don't really play a lot of remakes. I'm generally of the opinion that I'm glad that remakes exist for people who get to experience really good games like Super Mario RPG who wouldn't have really played them otherwise. But I like the originals enough that I don't really care to play the remakes. Especially since I, it's PS5 exclusive. I do not own a PS quintuple, so... It would have been me buying a PS5 for Demon's Souls, which would have been like a George Lucas moment. Because like he says, history rhymes sometimes. And I got into all of this bullshit with Souls because 4chan V at the time was saying Demon's Souls was like a gaming renaissance. And I bought a PS3 just for Demon's Souls, imported from China. <laughs> so, I, you know, in retrospect, that was a very good move. But... I uh, thank you, Pomfy Panda, for the raid. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hope you had a good stream. Hello, Wado, Pizza Killer, Zoria, v Vichernia. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Hello, Slifer, Comedier, um, Dula Dijanda, Neo Cool Dude, Honkbird, uh, Wado. This is gaming, but it's indie gaming. And this game is very strange and kind of, uh, let's just say it's a slow burn. What's the red guy? It's a terrible artifact that turns people into fish, and I'm not lying. Buying a PS3 for Demon Souls, me too. Yeah, yeah, and that's what got me on all that Souls bullshit. I did not have disposable income to buy. Like, now, like, $300 to buy one game is a lot, but it's not, like, inconceivable. But back then, I think that was, like, student, uh, like, Pell Grant leftover money for school. That I used to buy the PS3 for Demon Souls. So uh, thank you, government, for funding my PS triple. I appreciate it. I feel like a fish already. Two hundred dollars back in the two thousands. You were rich if you had that kind of money. Well, it really wasn't like in that instance. It really wasn't like I didn't have an income, so to speak. It was leftover money from like college funds. Okay. Not a responsible way to spend money whatsoever, but, uh, worked out, right? Mistakes from miracles, just like Spongebob in 9-11. Because Games with Gold for the 360 gave out Dark Souls 1. Man, good times. I hope there's a lot more games that are gonna give us the same feelings of playing, like, Souls for the first time. Like, Shipwrecked was really good. That was really, like, one of the best games in a long time, I think. In retrospect, I think Shipwrecked might be, like, the game of the 2020s for me as a whole. Pre-patched Dark Souls on 360 was wild. You remember the, um, like, the dragon asses hitting each other in Lost Izalith and all of them aggroing onto you the moment you entered the room? Dark Souls 1 legitimately was much harder on launch. Sergi, don't run. Better help me. No, never. You will doom us all. Better death than being a monster. But, like, it was harder, not necessarily in a good way. Um, I think at one point with Dark Souls, when it was on the PS Triple, they did a patch that made everything in the game give more souls on death. So, in general, on release, everything gave fewer souls. So, you were a lot lower leveled than you would be now. Um, but that's not the end of the world. It's not a huge deal. Like, there are certain things that got... That were really, really overpowered that got nerfed. Like, the crystal ring shield was used to, like, three-shot bosses. Um, I think, like, staying in human form was made easier. The lightning weapons... Yeah, yeah. The lightning spear in Sen's Fortress was legitimately god-tier. Because of how strong elemental weapons were. But I don't think there were changes to, like, specific bosses or anything. It's mostly, like, item and, like, uh, soul acquisition rate changes. I agree, Zundel. I, I will say I still think FromSoft is our guy. I love FromSoft, but I really don't like this trend of nerfing things they've gotten into with all of their games. 
And I feel like it's getting worse. Sergei stopped his granddad and died in the deep sea. He never arrived at the final destination. Humanity continues to live on the islands. No one knew what happened to Sergei or the new island in the distant waters. The end, the worst of two. So I got the bad end. Can I just go back and get the good end? Having things be unbalanced is a clear indicator of soul. I'm inclined to agree. I'm inclined to agree that... Wait. No. Okay, just don't... Don't turn around. I think that if something is clearly out of line, like if there's a dagger with like an integer overflow that makes it do like 7 billion damage in one-shot bosses, yeah, you should probably fix that. I can get that. But I think one of the compelling things about any flavor of RPG, whether it's Dark Souls or a turn-based game, is finding different options that are weaker or stronger and feeling really like... I don't know, like, there's something about finding a really cool weapon early on and kind of breaking the power curve that's satisfying. Even if it's not, like, a highly tuned, like, balanced experience, it's fun. And I think that's the worst fucking part about Dark Souls 2 patches, is a lot of the outlier weapons got nerfed into being far weaker. Like, the Macedon Halberd, Santier Spear, um, Magic is basically, like, a whole... A lot of, they tried to homogenize all of the weapons, and like, it's, it's true to a certain extent in all of the Souls games, but it got to a point with Dark Souls 2 where I felt like, more or less, like, the majority of the weapons did, like, the same amount of damage per stamina bar, and yet, yes, some would use, like, slower swings for burst damage and stuff, but it felt really shitty, it felt too homogenized once you got, like, at the end of the, uh, patch cycle. And I blame PvP for that. But it's not even really the PvPers' fault either. Uh, you should have just made changes specifically when PvP is happening. They've done that in, in the games before. Because, like, if you have Dark Souls 2, right? And there's a million different skills, a million different schools of magic and RPG elements. The fun of a game like that is supposed to be able to, like, do multiple playthroughs and find what is really strong and make wacky and really powerful combinations or at least interesting combinations and if you keep nerfing everything that becomes like a standout performer in pvp like that much of the soul of the game is gone and it might as well just be dark souls uh 1.5 right i'm not certain how to get the good ending here that's just my opinion at least If I ever made an RPG, it would be an unbalanced piece of dog shit. Um, I guess you just have to... You, th you have to thread the needle. It has to have, like, elements of imbalance, but it can't be, like, completely easy to break the game either. You have to kind of, like, know what you're doing and, and be knowledgeable of the systems to get to that point. One of the things I liked about both Oblivion and Morrowind... That man was an enemy and he served another god. I made a mistake. This is new text. Hello, Braca. What are you talking about? You were a monster. Hello, hellish Cerberu. You and the fear and hunger dev gotta collaborate. I don't think he would ever want to talk to me for good reason. I think uh, my little stunt trying to make good with the Ketsuki guy in the discord has pretty much like completely burned that bridge i would imagine what is this game about my grandfather's an anglerfish and i gotta join him to become an anglerfish as well Wait, i don't know for certain if that's the case but like you know once you get to a certain point in success that he i think he has achieved you don't want to you don't particularly want to fraternize with people who are like uh incendiary let's put it that way and that's completely understandable is it any good so far i think this one has been what the people would call mid but i want to see the end of it right now like i've beaten the game but i'm trying to get a better ending so that's why i'm like skipping through the text and kind of just Meandering. Do you have a favorite Dark Souls enemy? It's an interesting fucking question. Um, do I have a favorite Dark Souls enemy? I 
It's a really lame answer, but I think the Dark Raids have a lot of swag. <laughs> I think just like the, the, the new Londo Dark Raids with their little hand thing where they suck your fucking face out are really cool. I like those guys. Um, they're edgy. They've got skeleton heads. They're, they're perfect. Holy shit. Um, I think the game might be broke. Um, for two... What do I like in Dark Souls 2? I think we might have fucked it, guys. He's not moving. Okay. Well, I think we've seen enough of this one. Spent a good bit of time on that. An hour and a half. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that it had gone so long. You guys need to be like, hey, it's bingo night. Please stop playing this shit. It's taking too long. I really did not think that was going to be such an endeavor. Okay, I can uh, just let's move on to the next one. Dark Souls 2. Enemy in Dark Souls 2 that I like. Fuck me. I have to think. There's a lot in that game, so it's... Uh, I like the... The pigs are awesome. I do love the Majula pigs. The turtles are cool. I need to answer this question before I get into it. As much as I hate the DLC as a whole, the big-ass Ice Knights are really fucking cool. I have to, I have to say, like, I'm a sucker for, like, uh, I don't know, I'm a big fan of, like, ice and lightning-themed enemies, even if I don't like ice levels. The Rampart Golems, I believe that's what they were called, yeah. I also like the big giant drumstick guys in the Iron King who had the lava pouring out of their shoulders. You're seeing a trend here. I like dudes in armor. <laughs> don't have a... You know, I, I have a type. I definitely have a type. Um, Dark Souls 3. Honestly, the Crucifixion Woods guys with the claws are sick as hell. The ones that almost feel like they're out of Bloodborne. 90% of DS2 is dudes in armor. Best Dark Souls 3 enemy is clearly the Shrieking Angels. Let's play Mausoleum, everybody. Fat Witches. I like the Herald Knights, too. The ones with the, like uh, in the Ring City. Those guys are cool. You know what? No, I changed my answer. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt what my favorite enemy is in 3. It's so bad on this game. Okay, I think that's kind of the way this game looks, but I'll, I'll turn it down. Um, the the Crow Knight things in Ashes of Ariandel, the ones that like jump backwards while like throwing knives and shit and have the claws. Those dudes are sick as fuck. <laughs> like, those guys are so cool. I'm a big fan of like claw weapons. Um, like, one of my favorite mech designs is the Gurren from uh, Code Geass because of that big old fucking silver claw that shoots the red energy. Hello. Young assistant, it's good to have you here in these dark moments we are living. As you already know, our community is being invaded by the forces of the underworld. The Eye of Evil watches us threateningly from high in the sky. Thousands have perished and thousands more have been seduced by the false promises of the cult. Our mission is to guide our congregation towards the divine light and protect it. What can we do? We? Oh no. I'm just an old man. There's not much I can do. That's why I've urgently asked you to come. There is a task that I need you to carry out right away with your vigorous youth. 
I don't know if I like this guy. My vigorous youth, and I need to come, huh? The church cemetery is infested with pagan symbols hung by the cult members. Now hung. Okay. These pendants increase the power of darkness and bring it closer to our sanctuary. This church is the last stronghold of humanity in our town. We must stop the advance of evil by any means. I need you to destroy the nine symbols and come back. Thank God you're here. Let's go. There's no time to waste. The symbols are everywhere. Search thoroughly in every corner of the cemetery. And one more important thing. If you see anyone strange out there, don't look at them. Don't talk to them. The cult will try to break your faith. They may even put illusory images in your young and beautiful mind. This dude wants to bang for sure. It's just a chalice. But in the right hands, it could be something entirely different. Someone dial Yandiri Dev. Opinion on how all pre Elden Ring from Softporn was about Solaire? I didn't watch pre Elden Ring or post Elden Ring from Softporn, so I wouldn't know. I think the only thing I can remember was like a traumatic image of, uh, because like I said, Around, like, uh, Dark Souls time. That was right towards the tail end of my stay on 4chan. And I go to Dark Souls discussions occasionally. And there was one with, like, the Asylum Demon. And, uh... Not my cup of tea. Not my favorite thing I've ever seen. But that's about all of my experience with that sort of stuff. Okay, so the pagan symbols are very easy to see. I was worried it was gonna be, like, pixel hunt bullshit. Only from soft lore videos I dug into were the Bloodborne ones. I had a thing where, like, for a while I was really into, like, epic name bro lore throughs of Dark Souls 1 for a time. Um, that's about... He's the only person I've ever watched do lore in any capacity on Souls. But that was, like, the PS3 release of Dark Souls 1. That was a very long time ago. I have not really cared much about the lore in any of the games since Dark Souls 1. I think what broke me. Closed with a key. No, it's closed with a lock, asshole. Was Dark Souls 2. I was super excited for the Crowns DLC. I thought once you got all three, something really amazing was going to happen. Like a cool boss fight with like Ventric in his prime. And it was literally nothing. It was a nothing burger. And I was just like, why do I even care about this shit anymore? Who gives a shit? And it was to the point where when they announced Bloodborne, I thought it looked like dog shit. I was like, I don't fucking care about, like, this werewolf aesthetic. This looks stupid. Why are people excited for this? And then I played it, and, uh... <laughs> it's, now it's one of my favorite games. But I was not... Oh. Not holding out hope for Bloodborne after Dark Souls 2. So, uh... That looks like a nice skeleton. It was peak. Yeah, it was great. I just don't really like Victorian era themes in general. The the presence of like uh Oh shit, that actually made me jump a little bit. The presence of weird aliens really made it better for me premise-wise, I think. I would have enjoyed it, but I still think that if it had just been straight out like played straight, this is werewolves and a blood disease all the way through, it would not have been as compelling to me. Okay, I need to go back to that little area with my key. Favorite BB boss? Oh, God. Ludwig. Ludwig, easily. Music is incredible. The fight is amazing. Both phases are really fucking good. He's fun on normal casual runs. He's fun on challenge runs. Um, Yeah, yeah, Ludwig is phenomenal. One of the best OSTs in a video game, period best overall package there are there are probably fights that are maybe a little bit more mechanically in depth than ludwig but he just has the best of all of the worlds their masters are doing great monster world design okay you say that but you have to you know contextualize it and remember we were coming out of dark souls 2 <laughs> like 
You know, you can like Dark Souls 2, but if you're saying it had, like, great, masterful monster world design, I don't know if I'd be able to agree with you. Like, I'm really sorry about that, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. So this is, um, distinctly not cult-like video camera this is very strange better creature it did have good creatures i guess I'll, I'll give you that i still think demon of song and the covetous demon get shit on way too hard for what they are like not every boss needs to be like this acrimonious struggle it's okay to have bosses that are just neat set pieces it can't be open it seems this room is right beneath the church so strong indications that this Carlos guy is not telling us the whole story. Really bad AI because 90% of his... This is... Okay. You know what? For some dumbass reason, I was thinking of this. And I'm going to draw you a picture now. This is something I have been saying forever. Forever. And we are going to have a Windows Paint session to explain what I mean. Um... And so for those of you who are not familiar, I used to be really into like Dark Souls challenge runs. And this was a concept that I had tried to explain a lot to people on why everything in these games will be easy or easier because of something that was shared with almost every single boss. Okay, so I'm going to draw you a picture and I'm going to see if you can guess what boss it is. Okay. Amygdala. Amygdala. I think this is one of the best bosses to illustrate my point. Um, so, Amygdala, you would see this thing, and one of the biggest advantages that it has is that it fucking has this insane range, right? And almost every boss in these games has a particular thing going on. Let me Let me find a... Where is the fucking tool for this? You know what? It doesn't really matter. Let's just imagine... This is the area of influence. I, I'm really, like, struggling. There must be a term for it. But th that red line is the distance in which you... Like, the maximum distance in which you will trigger an attack. Or the minimum in this example. So, like, if you have a boss like this... You can just sit here and loiter at the end of this line and bait out attacks. And most of the time, the attacks will... They'll use the attacks that hit in that area. So it's only going to use attacks that will hit you right here. So if you just stay right here and bait it out, you can just perpetually stay on this outline of the circle. And it will have no threat to you whatsoever. Like, it will not hit you with almost anything. Even if it uses a melee attack, you take two steps back and it's just going to whiff. This is something that happens specifically with bosses that have, like, swords and shit. Almost every one of these bosses um, have something like this. And I'm of the opinion that more bosses need to just, like, walk up on you. Like, if some of these bosses were capable of just, like saying oh they're just sit sitting on the periphery i need to just like walk on top of them and not necessarily attack as soon as they're in range i i think that like half of the bosses in those games would be considerably fucking harder because you wouldn't be able to just bait the same like long range attacks out or short range or whatever it is 
they've definitely gotten better with that. Like, bosses like Melania are good in Elden Ring because they have a variety of moves that kind of close the gap and get, get her on top of you. And you can't just, like, skirt around the periphery of her attack range the entire time. And you also can't stay, like, hellishly close to her all of the time. So it's something they've gotten better at. But there's a lot of fights where it's like, if you have, like, a thrusting weapon or a rapier... You have, like, a knight in armor, and you just, like, walk one step back, attack whips, go poke them. Walk one step back, attack, attack of it whips. So, that's one thing that I feel like has been underutilized in those sorts of games. Is, like, not programming the bosses to just always abide strictly by the attack ranges. Um, you can't just stand behind her and fuck her. Amyg Amygdala also has the opposite problem, too, because... If you stand right under Amygdala, it can't do anything to you. So, it's actually one of the few bosses that have both problems. Where it's, it has no answer to you staying long range. It has no answer to you staying short range. So, you have to like deliberately put yourself in mid-range to have it pose any sort of real threat to you. Um, and nobody would do that because you would be intentionally making it like a thousand times harder for yourself. So they just need to have better, uh... What if you go to leave and the priest is there? I'm gonna go check on him and see if I can I can talk to him about that. Sweet spot? I know, I used to have an image I would show people uh, for Abigdala to exploit that. I would draw, like, MS Paint strategies for Bloodborne bosses somewhat frequently. Okay, buddy. Have you destroyed all the nine symbols? What's under the church? Uh-oh. Um. Boss starts to respond to your strategy. It really fucks with... Yeah. Like, I feel like if you had, like, an internal count. Because... FromSoft absolutely has three categories of attacks for most bosses. At least, I don't, I haven't played a lot of Elden Ring, so I can't say if this is for sure a thing in Elden Ring. But there's the short attacks, there's the mid-range attacks, and there's like the holy shit, this guy's far away attacks. Yeah, I think it's most clear that you can see that in Bloodborne. Um, like, if you stay a, far away from Dark Beast Charles, he has like 17 different jump attacks that he can use to close the gap. He has ones in mid-range... And I think it would be interesting if they had some bosses where it's like they will not use multiple long range attacks in a row. Um, it can tell like it, it'll have like a like a counter for how many short range attacks have been used, how many mid range attacks have been used, and if the fight has gone on and is overwhelmingly used one type, then it will be more biased to using the others, even if they aren't necessarily uh, making sense contextually with aggro ranges and stuff. Does that make any sort of sense, or does it sound like I'm a psychopath? And yes, that was indeed a soft lock. Good night, gum jar. Mike your fight except how they handled the waterfowl. Almost all the criticism I have just involves that one attack, and for the most part, made me wish they buffed all the other bits of her. I think, though, like... The thing about Melania is she has like a million blind spots for half of her attacks, so she would need the waterfowl in some capacity, because even if you buffed her other attacks, the hitboxes are such that if you were not in fear of the threat of that one, you could just camp her and she would basically be doing nothing, at least until the final phase. So that attack, the pressure, the, the very threat of that attack is what makes her other attacks, like, even a consideration, basically. Maybe the only other one that's a little tricky is that thing where she jumps up into the air and sends, like, the fucking ghosts of Christmas past at you. What? Melania didn't have waterfall. You'd literally just be able to wail on her and she would die. Just needs song as a banger. Well, maybe that'll happen here. Let's try the church thing. Maybe it wasn't a soft lock. I mean, it was, but maybe it was because I tabbed out of the game. Maybe it's not a consistent soft lock is what I mean to say. A lot of solutions to waterfall. Yeah, like, I haven't really watched... 
I, I have this thing where with those games, I don't really want to watch people play them very much. Not necessarily because I don't think it's interesting, but when I was streaming those games regularly, I didn't want to accidentally have like the osmosis of strategies that other people make for like certain attacks or bosses. I thought there was value in just like uh, making sure I knew nothing so that I had to figure it out myself. If that makes sense. And, you know, I don't really do that shit anymore. But I guess just in case I ever get, like, a wild hair to do Elden Ring challenge runs, I don't want to know, like, all of the good strats. Because I think the best part is figuring that shit out yourself and making a really solid strat. I do not claim any evil spirits or energies from this. I am protected. Can you elaborate on that statement a little bit more, Jed, from TikTok? Do you, do you feel like the game is exuding evil or, ener or bad energy, or is it me? Common occurrence of FromSoft games, the second phase is easier than the first because they tend to have more big shit with openings. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The, the prime example is Phase 3 Freed. Every other attack is a backstab. When you first fight it, it seems completely overwhelming. Um, it seems like shit is just going way too fast, but then you realize, like, half the attacks, you just, like, run to her, under her, and you can get a backstab and a follow-up and do a billion damage. And there aren't as many openings that are free like that in Phase 1, so I think Phase 1 freed is legitimately more difficult than Phase, uh, 3 or 2. Nothing, just an old basement full of spiders, don't even think about going down. Yeah, I'm immune to the Curse of Raw, actually. When I played Undertale 2, I was I was christened an honorary Raw man. So I am not only immune to the Curse of Raw, but I curses of Raw that come from me are much stronger because I actually have that background. As a developer of First Land made other games, they have, but they They're interesting. They're they're one of the game devs that does not make the same kind of game over and over. Um, the closest thing they have played, they have made that I have played to First Land is Mouse Sector, which is like almost an outer wilds mouse game where you have to go through the fucking uh, the treacheries of the vacuum of space as a astronaut mouse, which was very compelling. I don't know if there's more to that game than what I saw. I felt like there might have been. But that one was really good. And they have others that seem uh, interesting, but not necessarily appealing in the same way. Uh, thank you, Sleepy John, for the 23-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But they... I, I respect that a lot. It's like Kira, the guy who made Spookies, Lost in Vivo, Lunacid... Um, a bunch of other smaller projects. Like, I really respect the people who can make, like, a bunch of different styles of games. And they're all good. Basilisk. I don't know why. But there's, like, a memory hole in my head for Basilisk. I really like Basilisk. But I always forget that one. I do not know why that is. Do you recommend your Rat Sector streams? They're alright. I think if you like that kind of game, you'd be, you'd be entertained. So, should we talk to this thing? Ever managed to finish Basilisk? Yeah. Hello. Who are you and what are you doing here? I am a normal person just casually strolling through the cemetery. Could you do me a huge favor? I need you to pour some of my blood into the chalice in the church, please. Okay. Yeah, Torpal, you have a very unique style. I respect that, too. I respect that too. Having like a a way you make a game that just immediately screams like, oh, it's this dev is is pretty cool. Even though sometimes sometimes uh it's not a substitute for quality, and that's not a dig at you, that's a dig at Vetus. Does count as furry? I would probably say so. That looked like a furry to me. 
about my games lets you know it's mine. Just the general FMV style. I would say that the um, the one you made about exploring the ruins, I believe for the second Dread X, would be harder to pinpoint as yours than the others. But like Chips, Tips, Hand of Doom, I think that even if you made a game that was completely a different subject matter, it would be evocative of you. I think there's a lot of similarities between Chips, Tips, and Hand of Doom, even though they're completely different types of games, right? Why do furries have such a grip on the imagination of the public? Sounded easier than modeling. That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes, you know... Okay, you know how I started streaming, Torpal? I streamed directly from the PS4 streaming service. I didn't even use, like, OBS. I used, like, the fucking in-game PS4 streaming app to play Bloodborne. And it was, like, fucking, like... 50p image resolution when i was applying to be a twitch partner i i was dead ass told do you have any plans on upgrading your streaming setup was the first human response i got to my inquiries on partnership like no that was the entire body of the message verbatim um and i told them no <laughs> i told them basically uh, there's a lot of people who watch the PS4 streaming app who aren't really, like, keyed into, like, what Twitch is. And I think that even though I am not a, a particularly huge streamer, a lot of these people have come over to Twitch because, specifically, I stream using that app. And so I think there's a value to that in bringing more people to your platform. Like, yes, it is something connected to Twitch, but they watch through the app and they don't go on the website. They don't know what, like, subscribing and shit is. And I think that if you if you make me partner, you're going to have access to a group of people who are not normally exposed to things uh, that are like normal pertaining to Twitch culture. <laughs> now, obviously, I didn't stick with that, but that was absolutely true at the time. There's a lot of people even now, I think, who would probably say like, oh, yeah, I started watching you on the PS4 and uh, ended up, you know, and they thought it was a satisfactory response. And then they made me a partner. And then I upgraded my stream like four months later. <laughs> have you completed your task, young man? Have you destroyed all the symbols? Not yet. What are you waiting for? We have no time to lose if we want to save what's left of this town. Lamout, well, okay, so the PS4 streaming thing was a huge source of, of trouble for me too. Because like I said, the way it worked at the time is when you streamed in the PS4, you... Why did you upgrade? I'll explain. I'll explain. But it's going to need a little bit of, like, world building. Um, there were... Let's say you had a game like Bloodborne. There were two categories of Bloodborne on Twitch. One was hidden, and one was called Bloodborne TM. And what Bloodborne TM was, it was a... When you streamed from the PS4, it put you in a different category that would not appear in the normal directories for a game. So even if you were streaming Bloodborne... Uh, on Twitch from the PS4, you would not be in the Bloodborne category. And instead, on the little PS4 streaming app, you would be advertised on there, right? Um, now, I gamed the system really fucking hard because I found out that that was the case. And I found out that if you went into the Twitch dashboard and changed your category from the PS4 category to the PC category, you could get the PC viewers and you would still get the ones from the ps4 so you could double dip and get both and this was uh when i talk about like the uh the cabal of streamers who wanted to get me banned early on on twitch they were trying to frame this as like view botting is uh gaming the system and honestly when you look at it it doesn't make a lot of sense if you don't know about the ps4 shit so at first it was understandable that there would be that hang up but then, you know, I would explain it and they would stream on the PS4 and do the same thing I was doing. And their numbers would go from like 80 average to like 150 plus. It would literally like double it. Um, and so, But people would be, were really mad at me. And people in this case, meaning a group of soul streamers, some of which were partnered. None of them are relevant now. But I had them like running ops, like trying to get uh, message Twitch mods, like Twitch global mods to get me banned. Um, any streamer who was associating with me would get DM'd by them. They would DM my mods. It was an, 
<laughs> it was a, it was a, a little bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. So, you know, I wanted to switch so I wouldn't have to deal with that. And I was confident that I had gotten to the point where even without the PS4 streaming, I would still have people watching me. Um, and guess what? <laughs> Here we are nine years later. So that's why I, I was kind of inclined to get away from it. Because there was another person who streamed Dark Souls 3 called Treacherously who did the same thing that I was doing with the PS4. And he got, like, shit on enough by the other Soul streamers that he, like, quit altogether. Um, because people were being terrible to him about the PS4 thing as well. So, it was an interesting time. There's a man with a giant wolf head. It's probably some member of the cult. They usually wear strange outfits. Don't let him manipulate you. He'll say anything to make you join them. All right, sorry, I am yapping a little too much. We got video games to play. Here's where that guy wants me to pour his blood. So cutthroat, it was frustrating because like my first interaction with Craddock is like, there there was a, a... one sec. You let it in, you let it in, you let it in. I let it in, and he got it in. Damn, okay. Um, so, no, it was, you know, it really, really sucked at the time because, you know, not to be like, wham, 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 I'm not trying to be miserable, but streaming was one of the only good things that had happened to me in a long time when I got into it. So I was super just like, absolutely unbelievably thrilled that there were people who wanted to talk to me on the internet and like watch my fucking dumbass little streams and i tried to do the thing where it's like okay well i guess as a streamer you're supposed to like go in and be friends and support the other streamers in the community and so i went to craddock stream and i was like hey man you know trying to be nice and shit <laughs> and it's just like I didn't, I didn't really know what was going on at the time. And I remember I hosted another, another soul streamer because I would, I would host people and do, you know, the regular streamer thing. And I hosted a soul streamer one day and he was like, uh, oh, uh, you know, you should check out this. Like, if you like Bloodborne, you should check out this Craddock guy. And that's when I really knew things were not, not necessarily as I perceived them. Like, I host you and then you start going on about this shit. And so if you wonder where, like, the, the general reluctance and caginess to, like, fraternize with other streamers originated, that was uh, this is the first uh, negative encounter, I guess. Although there have been more positive encounters than negative ones, for sure, overall. Um, Uh-oh, hold on. I need to get this one going. So I'm not trying to make it like all these streamers are terrible motherfuckers, but uh, it was rough at first. It was definitely a, uh, but thankfully, you know, because that was the only good thing that had really happened to me in a long time, I was 100% like not going to buckle to it. Um, you know, I'm not going to let go of the only thing that has brought me some sort of solace that easily and uh, ended up working out. Always people behind your asses because you want to show something cool on the internet. It's not fair. I hate it. That shit hurts my soul. Yeah, it, it's not... Kratok is not Kratok. They're different people. Um, it was a long time ago. I don't think he's... He's streamed in a long fucking time. Okay, this one is called Psalm. But we can... We, this, this, we don't have to keep talking about this. Um, this is a Steam game that I, I saw that looked interesting. I had to pay money for this one, so I hope it's good. It looks cool. I like the intro screen. Why are you posting the Naruto Suzuki ones? Like, why why are we doing those uh, those frogs? What's this? It's Psalm five nine to fifteen. You know what? If we're going to play a game that's literally named off of a Bible verse, I think it's probably necessary that we look up the said Bible verse, right? 
Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with malice. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongue they tell lies. Okay. There's no way people would just lie, right? Wow, this actually looks pretty good. What is a man? Perfect Sunday game. I think a man is a guy who does whatever the fuck he wants. As long as it's not something that harms his fellow man or woman. Man is someone who goes and whips his dick out and puts it on the counter of a bar and says, I will have a pina colada, goddammit. I'm going to have the girly drinks and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to do crochet. Or maybe I'll pump iron. Maybe I will go and... Uh, have kids. Maybe I'll have a lot of sex with someone who is uh, comfortable with their own masculinity. Never thought you were exaggerating, but seeing it happen in real time during Terminal was so shit, and you still managed to turn that. St it's whatever, right? Um, at some point. It's weird. You know, honestly, I can genuinely say. The most drama I ever had with other streamers was in, like, the first year of me streaming. Like, more than the rest of the years combined. I think it's honestly way worse, from my experience, when you are actually just, like, a really small streamer. Um, oh, holy shit. Like, I'm not a huge streamer, don't get me wrong, but I'm talking, like, like the 10 to 50 view range. There's some fuckers. <laughs> There's some fuckers, dude. And they're usually cowardly enough that they won't really mess with anyone who they think is like a, a bigger dog. But if you're in their range, they will be absolutely unabashedly terrible to you. So I think that's one of the worst places to be when you're a streamer. From my experience, at least. Okay, so I guess we're looking around for strange objects to open doors believe it said that that was going to be the case with the description but it goes back to the conversation we have some time is that there's some people there's like a class of human being where they are so desperate for any sort of power perceived or otherwise that once they get anywhere they will be absolutely unabashedly terrible this can be something as small as a discord moderator or a twitch moderator like, I know you've all seen people power tripping over mod status over, like, an extremely small group of people. Okay. What am I doing here? This horror game is a first-person walking simulator with a VHS effect and a tense atmosphere. Explore the location, find anomalies, and move on. Every day I'd be power tripping? No, I don't think any of my mods power trip. But it is, you know, I've seen smaller streamers who, uh, there's this toxic trait that people who first start streaming do. I did it. Um, when they get their first regulars, they tend to just, like, mod them because they're regulars without any other considerations. Just to show appreciation for being, like, one of the only people who has shown interest in their stream. And that can lead to some really nasty situations. I have seen that happen a few times in real time. Not with me. But, uh, with other people. Used to know this guy named Roll the D20 who had a really, really bad mod who, like, ruined his streams, and it would piss me off, but I don't know how you. How do you. How you approach that situation, right? Like, hey, bro, your mod is a piece of shit. You should unmod him, like. How do you get your mods then? I look at it like jury duty. Um, people who don't really seem like they would particularly enjoy being mods. Tend, like, like an unbiased, uninterested party would tend to make the best juror. And I feel like that's kind of like with mods. I really have no clue what to do here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like fluoride steering. Not always, Rouser. 
Not always. And sometimes it's like $10. I feel like I have... I don't pay my mods, but I, if Misa was like, Tolomeo, I really need a pizza. I would probably get her a pizza. But my mods also almost never do anything too, which is good. I think that's how it should be. The door that opened by itself. I don't see a door that opened by itself. Get paid an exposure? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that, like, uh, the workload of a mod is not exactly... Like, I'm appreciative for what they do. Don't, don't take it the wrong way. Some of them are end up going crazy. Like, you mod someone like Ghost by Go, and then he's making, like, six-hour montages of your streams. And that's insane. So I'm not trying to be dismissive of that, but, like, the actual moderation parts are usually, uh, there's not too much. I am stupid, I guess. Hold on. Do I need to be, like, is there a control I'm not understanding? It has to do with the TV, right? What if I took too long and bugged it out? Shit. Shit. So we're gonna get ghost to pizza. Big chats like this often need less mod work than small ones. Well, you know, not to suck my own dick, but I think most of the time I will just do it myself if there's like something that needs mod attention. Not always, like today something happened that a uh, kid took initiative for, which was really awesome. Like kid's a really good dude. I have a lot of respect for kid. Um, super nice guy, but you know, I have no problem just doing it myself either. Like, if they ping me and they're like, hey, yo, you need to do something about this, I will do it. But I just don't always know everything, right? Wait, is it this? What's what's going on back here? There's some... There's come over here, right? You see it? Hello, Samurai Arconex. There's like a, a, a irregularity with the light there. Shooting down farm pig in cold blood. That was funny. Maybe I have to sit here and stare at it. I mean, the TV is what changed. So maybe if I just sit here and stare at it, I'll start seeing something. I hear a dog in the background. I don't know how important that is. Splitting, yeah, Splitting's awesome. Oh, like, my mods are awesome in general. I'm not trying to play favorites. Um, but I have a good, a good group of people. Oh, wait, hold on. How did I not see that until now? Thoughts on Jenna? I really like Jenna. I don't think that she does that much mod work, honestly. But I think Jenna's good because um, one of the things I try to do, this is going to sound ridiculous. This is going to sound like some super fucking secret conspiracy shit, but I like having mods that are very different from myself, too. Like, I feel like there's a diverse group of people, and I'm not talking what they are necessarily. I'm talking who they are. And so if something really bad happens, like the situation with Joy that happened last month, I have a lot of people who will have different perspectives than me. And sometimes it's not going to matter. Sometimes it ends up being the same thing, but I think like having a balanced group of people is helpful when you're confused on doing something that's actually important. Okay, what's going on here? Where's the anomaly? What happened with Joy? I don't want to get super in-depth with it because they're staying at a viewer's house still. But uh, basically, they were they they uh, did some terrible stuff to someone who had the kindness and someone being Kangler to let them into their home. And uh, I think 
there's no universe. Like, I would be the worst person ever if I knew that one of the mods went to a viewer's house for free because, you know, oh god. And did something terrible to them and I, like, did not ban them immediately, right? But it was a complicated situation because they were at another viewer's house at the time and you have to do it in a way that doesn't make them, like, freak out and, you know, have something bad happen to the viewer they're currently staying with. So it's, I had to be a lot more delicate than I would have liked, right? Because normally in a situation like that, your first instinct is we gotta, you know, do something about this now. But, you know, you have to, oh shit, you have to consider the other people involved, right? Joy situation? Yeah, I'm sorry, like, I, it's terrible. I like Joy a lot. I thought Joy was cool. Sometimes, uh, sometimes things just get fucked and people don't act right and it's, you feel super shitty about it for a variety of reasons. My online and real life are separate. It's interesting. Are you holding the remote button? Oh, I guess I can change it. Let's see. Today, making him the first to visit in preparation for the 2008 general election. Republican President This is actually kind of unnerving. Three, three, three. Yeah, it's a simulation, right? Good night, Trinus. Me too, uh, Joel. I love like the body cam games too. I think those are awesome. Just as long as they're not being like about a cop shooting homeless people or something to that effect. be a cool horror game the, the homeless are actually some sort of invasive alien or otherwise supernatural being I want to respond to a comment, but I have to wait for this to finish because I have to balance my talking and like being immersed. I'm starting to think there needs to be a skin of a rank ass bingo square. So what? Every time you see like the top of a door frame, it'd be an easy bingo square, bro. I love skin of a rank. Don't get me wrong, but. up on this bingo? No, dude, you never know what'll happen. No, I'm not, Theodore. I'm watching. Yeah, Code Talker, it's, uh, it's not for everyone, for sure. You know, it kind of looked like a cloaked figure, like a Grim Reaper thing. I didn't immediately realize it was a waterfall. Screen. 
screen, dude. Come on. That was so good until the scream. Come on, man. Ah! Oh, shit. Okay, okay. What I was going to say to Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, you do make people uncomfortable sometimes. I think that's true. For me personally, I am not as inherently suspicious of people who are, are like overtly weird. Um, maybe this is a blind spot I have, but the people who have always ended up being the worst in my lived experience are like the ooh woo ooh goo um you know he he come to my discord with all of my friends like that is the most dangerous type of person in my mind um that is the that is what sets my the hairs on the back of my neck up not like overt sexuality even if that is uncomfortable Yeah, they're all gone, Joel. <laughs> like, they all got banned by now. Because they all ended up being, like, weird. Like, trying to get all of the mods who were women, except for one. And it, it, That's, you know, that's the best thing about being married. Not the best, but, like, it's pretty easy to tell what people's intentions are if they're, like, trying to befriend all of the women mods except for one. Don't you think that's, like, a little weird? Like, they'll be super friendly in the chat. Be like, oh, hi, Miu. Hi, Misa. But they'll always ignore one. And it's not because... And Autumn is like a... Autumn is a, a very fun person to talk to. Autumn is great. So what could the reason be? I wonder. It's like a recurring theme. Like, it's happened every time one of these weirdos has done this. Okay. Wish someone would try to sex pest me. Otto's just too powerful. Maybe she's intimidating. Oh, fuck. Me after reading a Cifferoni and Cheese comment. Couldn't for the life of me remember any detail. That's fine. Yeah, no, that's not... I think that's normal. Like, you know, this is going... One of the embarrassing things about my life is, like, for all of you, this is, like, a stream that you kind of put on in the background, but this is, like, uh... This is the longest going, like, creative effort thing I've had for myself. This is a big part of my life. Uh, I... So, it's awkward when you're trying to speak to, like, another adult in real life, and they're talking about, like, uh, you know, putting in big hours at, like, the construction yard, and I'm like, oh, well, I played Five Nights at Freddy's, and... <laughs> oh, well, Mask Guide so it makes it a little hard sometimes to be as uh, sociable as you would need to be need to get like some extracurricular activities because the things i do outside of streaming are like runescape or mech warrior or fucking building gundam models so it, it can be hard to fraternize but not that bad no that's not what i'm saying rouser i'm just saying like i'm socially uh like completely um, I'm, a, I'm a social AIDS machine. Some people get out of the woods that are And there was, as one the next of the stream, maybe at some point. Drugs. I think the thing is more people around here than don't them. You don't think it's getting out of hand? No, I don't think anything's out of control. Uh, everything I've seen has been a very together thing. It's, it's turning people on to a different kind of oh, living. Oh, okay. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> Seth, are you scared? Three days before all the people leave, the peace and quiet of the Catskill Mountains. It may be longer before this area returns to normal. Despite the problems, and there were many problems, though they were not as great as many people believed, this weekend says a lot about the youth of America. Oh. More than 350,000 people, 
came looking for peace and music. Many said they learned a lot about themselves and learned a lot about getting along together and priorities. And for most, that alone makes it all worthwhile. Okay. Lem Tucker, NBC News. In I find New annoying York. or the most active. What am I supposed to do? You know, I'm going to be real. Um, I do not necessarily understand the idea that there's like profoundly annoying people in the discord right now maybe that's because i've lived through like way worse periods but i don't there's not anyone that bad in there right like yeah not every i don't want to talk to every person and i don't i don't get in with the uh conversations sometimes but it's all right Maybe I need to make like a different, like multiple, multiple main channels. It's really not wild. It's pretty tame. Like I don't know. I think the idea that like it's gotten worse is asinine. Um, but if you have like a concern, you can you can tell me about it. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Why? It's like I don't know. It's the least like uh, offensive it's ever been in a variety of ways. So unless you just want to like bring a sword. Engage with some of the people, I get that, but they're not talking all the time, right? Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, come back, but I'm just curious what the problem is. I don't know if I'm supposed to just keep watching TV. Oh, oh, oh no, that's already been open. There's a lot of different channels here. Yeah, I mean, these are, these are interesting. No, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. And I mean, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, wow, this conversation is really fucking stupid. Why would anyone want to talk about this? But like, you know, I don't, I, I just don't say anything. Um, there's people I don't particularly like talking to as well. But I guess I'm kind of stuck, right? Should post my new puppo on the Discord? Yeah, dude. I never think I really had an issue with anything in there. He's an adult. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe, like, the one thing I can think of that's, like, maybe is a little too off putting is, like, the overtly sexual talk. I can understand that making people uncomfortable for sure. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't particularly like talking about it either, so I don't. But I don't think it's like that all the time, is it? Still do Monster Hunter stuff. Every once in a while, it comes and goes. Probably get people. Yeah, if you ask, you could probably get people to play with you. I they like playing uh, Monster Hunter. It's called Noodles Cheat Cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has a weird name. Is the League channel being created? I don't think we have enough motherfuckers for League. How they wax their asshole and I left. Yeah, I don't know about voice chat. I don't know about voice chat. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't blame you there. There's a few days of like, am I a pedo? Which was really funny. I must have missed that. What was the context? I've heard there's like a particular type of OCD that convinces people to believe that they are pedophiles when they are not. I'm not convinced on that. I've never seen anything about that really. I've seen it mentioned a few times, but I don't know much about it. not convinced that's OCD. I've seen it in more than one place, so that's why it's confusing to me. It's not OCD. Let me see if I can find it. OCD that 
I should have looked this up. Like, this wasn't something that I wanted to do research into. But, I see, I don't know what, a, what to type in this. Um... Like, should I? It's, it's called POCD. Like, I don't want to type OCD that makes me believe I am a... Okay. POCD, also known as pedophile obsessive compulsive disorder, is a type of OCD that involves having obsessions or intrusive thoughts that are focused on fears about being or becoming a pedophile. These obsessions trigger immense anxiety, distress, and disruptions in a person's life. So it is a thing that people believe in it, regardless of how valid we think it is. Okay, okay, okay. I'm actually flummoxed right now, brothers. Someone from one of the communities I used to be a part of that said they had that. I'm not one to just say like, oh, your your struggles are just make believe, especially when there's documentation about it. But that would put me on edge. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know how I would react to someone saying that to me in like a conversation. Maybe something changes based on the channel. Yeah, it has to be the TV for sure. I don't see anything else to interact with, but. Is it your intrusive thoughts are linked to your actual desires? So, maybe... Uh, I... I have intrusive thoughts, but not of that. Um, my intrusive thoughts are like beating the shit out of someone I don't like. Or, um... Taking all of my clothes off and jumping into a public fountain. Not like this POCD thing. But, you know, not everyone thinks the way I do. It's just, it's, it's hard for me to relate to this. Maybe he can. We stand at the door. Alright. Stressing and scary that they get obsessive over them. Intrusive thoughts, you're terrified of the idea of having that kind of intrusive thought, and you freak out over it constantly. Zoom in on the creepy staring guy. Like this one? There's some weird sort of like graphical artifacting going on, but I don't know if it's relevant. Man, I am getting filtered by these fucking puzzles right now, huh? Games always stress me out, but I thoroughly enjoy them. The TV one, I know, but I'm looking at the other stuff, too, because it's like this. This is one. Okay. I'm not certain this will, will provide fruit, but maybe. There's truth in fiction. Good night, Siamese sneeze. I don't think that's what it said last time, right? All good things. Fucking Mitt Romney. Today, I love it. To visit in preparation for the 2008 general election. Republican President Jackson. Yeah, um, the ceiling. Ceilings are usually blind spots. I don't see anything on the ceiling. Man, this game's making me feel like a fucking rube right now. Holy shit. Truth in fiction, so there's no crouching. I don't see anything. 
you will see such pretty things. Okay. Maybe you need to think like a Mormon. Where's the magic underwear, Rosart? I need it now. You need to help me put it on, too. Is he important to Mitt Romney? I don't know. Check the drawers, brother. I'll try. And then you're gonna check my drawers, right? It's extreme fear. I personally have intrusive thoughts of severely harming my dog or brother, and it fucking sucks. Lucky to not have POCD because I could not handle that on top of everything. There's also HOCD, which is where you have irrational fears of being gay even though you're straight. That's, I thought they just called that being a member of the fucking uh, RNC, dude. <laughs> what? This is too many letters. Like, what do you mean? I get it, though. Kind of. Like, I understand what you're saying. I can't really sympathize with it, but... Hawthorne is scared of being gay. Good for him. People shouldn't be afraid to be themselves unless they're, like, murderers or something. It tends to only happen to people who aren't homophobic. Or NBC News. I really hope I'm not even on looking at cocks all day. We should make it so after 10 p.m. TV's broadcast, Adult Swim used to have bumpers that were pretty uh uncomfortable. Not like actual horror material, but stuff that's kind of made to be slightly unsettling. People think it's to dissuade like children who are watching when they shouldn't be. Makes sense to me. Sif just robbed me of the experience. There was a shadow of a person. Why did you come? Why did you come? Is that what he said? You missed the Freddy Fazbear cameo? What if I'm stuck here forever, guys? What if I never figure it out? <laughs> I'm, I'm lost in this house. I'm too distracted and I'm not... I mean, this isn't even a distraction thing at this point. I legitimately just have no fucking concept on what I'm doing. Like, if you have suggestions, like, you can, you can help with this. I'm not gonna bite your head off if, uh... What's going on here? Creepy face. I've done that though. Yeah, maybe you're just supposed to watch the TV for like 10 fucking minutes. Okay, I haven't seen this bit, so. I'm with you, real winner sleep. A lot of my intrusive thoughts, I don't they don't really make me feel terrible. Um, it's a fucked up thing to say. But, you know, sometimes, like, someone really fucks you over and inconveniences you, and you're like, damn, I wish I could punch this dude in the back of the throat. Um, I think that's normal. I think being able to say, like, these are just, like, normal thoughts. This is the animalistic side of me. I don't, I'm not really gonna do this. Is normal. Stuck a knife in their sarcophagus? Yeah. 
obviously it would be horrible to act on any of these ideas, but... You know, when I went to the Grand Canyon, I had the call of the void, and I was like, wow, wouldn't it be funny if I jumped off? Sif, what's up? Alrighty, take Sif with me, please. At least put her on the landing, she doesn't want to be in here. Oh, hold on, what is this? Have I seen this one? I think I have. Operation for the 2008 general election. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, all right. I'm, oh my God. Okay. Fucking McCain is a zombie? I don't know, was it? What's the lore implication of the 2008 general election? Never had Call of the Void or Vertigo either, which is pretty nice. I thought you did. I felt like I did it, but maybe I didn't stare at it long enough. Or maybe I wasn't angled properly. Okay, I do not like that. Is this anti Obama sentiment? I don't think so. That would be strange if you made, like, an escape room horror game about Obama. Unlucky King Respecter. 2000... Oh, shit, dude. I do not like that thing. Please get the fuck away from me. Okay, you know, this game's actually pretty good. I need to, like, stop talking to chat. Like, I don't know, because we've been having good discussions today, so I want to keep talking, but... I actually feel like this is kind of, like, working to set up the suspense, despite me hammering on about, like, Obama. Because there's definitely something to be said about... You know, games are definitely less scary when the streamer is just talking about random shit while the things are happening. So when I think it's actually going to be good, try to pipe down a little bit. Tinky Winky's my favorite Teletubby. It's literally the only answer. mask. That's a weird-ass looking creature. What's going on, Ezekiel? I think it looks pretty scary. It's unique, for sure. I feel like sometimes with these games, like, they do the atmosphere and the setup reasonably well, but then the monster is, like, the same Unity asset you've seen about 7,000 times. So, I think that... You know, I don't think there are going to be very many people looking to me for advice on, like, indie games and stuff, but I think... That is, like, the number one thing people need to work on with these games, is, like, the appearance of the monster. Particularly the animations. It can't have, like, that stock monster walking animation that everyone's seen a hundred thousand times. Sometimes I feel they'd be better off not even showing the monster. I'm torn on that. 
because I also think this is probably not a common complaint because I played so fucking many of these horror games, but I feel like sometimes it's really clear when there's not actually going to be a threat. Um, like, if you're going to have a, like, no way to die, you have to make it super immersive because uh, a lot of the times, like, no that they're not actually being a real monster or threat is telegraphed too hard and it takes away from the tension. So this game's probably not going to have something that kills me, but like all of the uh, sounds, the atmosphere is doing a good enough job that it doesn't matter that much in this particular... Oh, no. Is that 1601? Understand. So if you look at these, they're kind of like making the shape. So maybe that's what it means. Maybe you're not meant to turn all four on, but you're supposed to turn like the little triangle of these three on. Maybe, because I don't seem to be able to like configure the frequency or anything like that. Maybe not. three it could mean these three i think it's a combination of three that i have to have it has to be this one this one i can't turn off that would make sense to me this is can i look at them and see the the numbers maybe i just have to right? Yeah, I have no idea. Thought the, the triangle idea was alright, but since I can't turn this one off and that those configurations don't really work, it doesn't seem like there's much to it. But it's not... You can turn all of them on and off at will, except for the original one. that play the same song? Maybe. I have such a bad ear for these sorts of things, though. And I guess you could just brute force it. Music puzzle? Kind of. I'm not very good with this type of puzzle in particular. Like, I'm not really good at most puzzles, but these especially are, uh... Hold on. You know what? It's maybe been the longest time in the entirety of my streaming, but I've had a shirt on this entire time, and this motherfucker needs to come the hell off right now. We need to get gaming. I also need to consider the possibility of there being, like, some fucked up, like, schmuck radio hidden somewhere. When we game, the mu- Yeah, yeah, you gotta get your shirt off if you want to truly be a gamer. Games. Oh, there we go. Okay. My head when playing RuneScape. Makes the wonderful... Yeah, you gotta get, like, the harmonizing instruments, I guess. 
I'm not entirely sure. I kind of was just hitting shit until it worked. I don't, like, if you explain to me what exactly I did and how it worked, I don't think I would be able to. But my best guess is that, uh, you gotta harmonize the right ones to make an actual song. I'm not certain if there's something I need to be doing right now or if I'm just like wandering around until I just hit the event trigger. I mean, it sounds like there's some, oh, oh, I see it. Well, that was fucking rude. Now I'm just stuck, I'm marooned. Can you please move this chair? Oh, there's fucking cucarachas now. Gross. This shit's my nightmare. Oh, 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 oh fuck. Okay, okay, asshole. Jesus Christ. What a motherfucker, dude. Now we're in the kids' room. This is a spacious house. He wanted to see the cucarachas. Yeah, he heard a cucaracha. Bugs? I want to see? That's a nice fox. Freddy Krueger? I don't know. It looks weird. It's hard to get like a... It's hard to actually see it. It's gone so fast. Dude, Tyrannosaurus Rex, that's a sick fucking poster. I would have loved that shit if I was a kid. I love dinosaurs, man. I feel like I've been seeing this particular asset. This dinosaur in more than a couple games lately. your favorite dinosaur i'm a spinosaurus kind of guy i like spinos but i like the i like the particular interpretation where it's kind of like a pseudo t-rex it's not like a fucking hunched over like the not scientifically accurate variation basically look at the baby dog space oriented kid yeah i was never huge into space i like star wars and shit but never really big into like the mysteries of space do you think it's a situation like you can this is a mostly a rhetorical question but you gotta wonder like you could maybe well i don't know a lot of people who are into space are like into it for like the future of what you we could do in outer space whereas people who are into dinosaurs are like fixated on what was uh, what once was sort of stuff i guess um so wonder if there's anything to it like people finding the past or the future more interesting you do gotta wonder what the fucking world was like millions of years ago it would probably be like indiscernible or not indiscernible up like impossibly it the like, unrecognizable is the word i was looking for sorry um, okay, one, two, three. There's like a little tea party I've got to do here. This Wild West, but bigger. I love the fact that space is so mind-bogglingly big and extreme. Yeah, I mean, I think space is interesting. Don't get me wrong, but like... I think for me personally, I would be more interested in seeing the Earth in a prehistoric state than... Uh, 
seeing what is to come in the future. Because I'm not going to really be able to partake in either of them. So I think that like, maybe seeing how things used to be would be neat. Love deep sea. I do. I mean, that's part of it too. There's some crazy ass dinosaurs and dinosaur adjacent things in the ocean too. It's mosasaurs. I think mosasaurs are fucking awesome. I like plesiosaurs. Ancient, like giant turtles. Hard to think positively about the future. It's not even just that. It's just that, like, I don't know. What the fuck is this, dude? Coelacanths are sick. They are. They're really cool. I actually had a nightmare that I was being chased by a coelacanth. More interested in proto mammals? No, that's cool too. Like that's I'm not as knowledgeable, but uh maybe maybe not in that specific period, but I think like the ice age, like the woolly rhinos, the mammoths, that's all really interesting too. Um the I think part of the reason I like that stuff so much is when I was growing up, I played a, P a series of PC games called Carnivores, which was like deer hunter, but for dinos. And there was one called Carnivores Ice Age, where it had like a lot of the like saber tooth tigers, like fucking ancient bears, that sort of shit. I love those games, man. That was my childhood. I'm glad VI Pizza agrees. I streamed Ice Age once, I think. I streamed one of them. That's when the Diego shit happened. Those games are cool. There's actually a thriving carnivores community today. Like, people are making mods for carnivores to this day. Um, one of my niche YouTubers that I really like is called Sorry and Target. Um, and he does, like, uh, reviews of these carnivores mods. Like, I don't really, don't really have the patience to go and get all of the, uh, all of the shit installed and play it myself. So I just kind of watch his videos and see, like, the cool stuff that they add. It's pretty neat. Some of it is, like actual historical stuff sometimes there's like a there's one that has a like a radioactive like super godzilla dinosaur called the gojirasaurus there's a surprisingly dedicated mod community for hunting games that are over 20 years old okay so we need to put this guy in the uh is there a specific seat like is this a puzzle okay Wait, which, what position does this one have? I think it's in this one right here. Um, well, does my orientation dictate, like, the placement? Hold on, I'm going to have to... I have to look at the plates and stuff. There's two bowls and two plates on opposite ends of the table. I'm glad that, that VI Pizza knows what Carnivores is. Like, I feel like that's one of the games where when I talk about it, nobody knows what the hell that is. It is so cool. Really awesome games. I believe... This guy goes here. It was my favorite game as a kid. Yeah, me and my sister used to play it a ton. She thought it was scary, so she'd watch me play it. Hunting the T-Rex? Yeah, yeah. In the first Carnivores game, you could only, like, do good damage to dinosaurs if you hit them in a specific spot. And the T-Rex in that game, you could only kill it if you shot it in the eyeball. You could throw hundreds of bullets into every other part of it, and you would not kill it. And it did this scary thing where when it aggroed onto you, it would start sniffing the ground and then it would pause and roar and just start barreling towards you. And you had to shoot it in the eyeball while that was happening. And it was pretty fucking hard if you uh, didn't kill it before it started running at you. Oh man, what a great game. I don't know where the last stuffed animal is. I think that placement is right, but I I don't know where uh what is what am I looking for? It's like a duck, right? Your sister would Oh, I know she does. 
pretty sure we've talked about it, maybe not recently, but like in the last couple of years, I probably mentioned, oh, I stream carnivores. She used to be like, she didn't really like playing games as much unless they were DS games, but she was, she would watch me play a lot of stuff. Um, I remember on nights where my mom was particularly bad, a lot of the times he'd be like, all right, all right, yo, come, in, come into my room, I got a cool game to show you, sort of thing. She'd watch me play like Oblivion or some shit. Do you see this? Oh, he's in the trash. That's fucking sad. I probably looked at him before, but I didn't really like... Uh-oh. What did that say? Holy shit. Jesus. She's kind of a bitch, huh, guys? <laughs> like, animals like, damn, the fuck, like, yo, you okay, bro? You good? Yeah, yeah, she does that sometimes. She threw Ducky in the trash. Oh, fuck. This reminds me... Of... Oh, one of the scariest creepypastas, in my opinion, is one called Bedtime. Where it's like a, uh... It's a kid who, who gets put into, like, this small room in his house. It's like an hour long. It's really good. Probably not scary now, but I remember listening to it and being unnerved by it, and it's like... Oh, 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 hey. Like, the kid would be going into bed, and something would rustle from under the sheets and start, like, trying to crawl on the covers, and, like... They feel like they, they the hand grazing his cheek as he's trying to sleep, and, like, weird shit like that of just being, like violated by some monster while you're trying to sleep in the bed and it, I don't know that one bothered me still recovering what the fuck is this am I gonna be able to slice him with it middle aged Jimmy Neutron yeah his head is pretty big huh Actually, has a good monster. I think it's unsettling, even if the, the head is a little comically large. Momo. Okay, don't compare it to Momo. Momo fucking sucks. Oh. Remember the horror games with Momo we've played? Like, how universally, like, even... They're not even just bad. They're like, holy shit, dog. What are you doing? Mitt Romney isn't taking the 2018 election well. 2018 election, huh? All right, all right. That was pretty good. I think the first half was stronger than the second, but I liked it. I liked it. Pretty good, yeah. Do you think a PT had been a full release, there would have been as many of these games made? I don't really feel like that one was PT adjacent. PT is like going in and out of the same corridors, right? Um, they didn't end with the monster. I think that's okay. Uh, they ended with you also being some sort of fucked up monster too. Kind of trite, but I respect it. Um, dang, what do we play now? Loops with small things changing. That's a PT-like. Similar start to PT, but other than that, not similar. PT played on life. Various similitude in liminal rooms. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I am personally, like, not a PT stan. I don't really get 
why people go so nuts for that game in particular. Like, I'm not saying it's, like, a terrible, bad thing or anything like that, but I just... I don't really like PT that much. And I have a, I have an express disdain for PT clones. Like, the PT clones, I think, sometimes are even worse than, like, straight-up slender rip-offs. Part of it is because it got axed. So are you saying that, like... Maybe people are, are less enamored with what it was and more hopeful for what it could have been sort of thing. I guess that would make sense. But that's like... I don't know. You can do that with a lot of things, right? Everybody must die. I don't know if the Korean text is meant to just be everybody must die in Korea or Korean. Or if it's like a separate thing. A lot of the PT clones miss the point on why it's so good. Well, almost all of the things that are derivative of horror trends are like that, right? Like, how many... We could talk shit about, like, Garden of Ban Ban and, like, Poppy's Playtime. But the ones that, like... Most of the ones that mimic that are so much worse, honestly. There's some exceptions, like that Muzzy game. Um, or, or like the Slender clones. I still, to this day, have not played Slender, the original. I played a lot of things that are aping off of Slender, but I have a distinct feeling that, uh, however bad Slender is, it's much better than its, uh, rip-off versions. And one Shrek Slender game is really fun. Yeah, there, there are some times where they do it. Right, but... Goldsworthy Mental Health Rehabilitation Center. I had that dream again. I must kill them all with my own hands. Okay, wow, I like the art for this a lot. This looks pretty cool. The homicidal Grandfather. Wardrobe with a missing handle. I must find the handle to open the doors. PR flyer for the clinic. Goldsworthy Mental Health Rehabilitation Clinic is not accepting patients. Senile, dementia, hysteria, trauma, other substance abuse, or addiction-related disorders, etc. Peter, Dr. Peter Goldsworthy, the most renowned in Europe, performs surgeries himself. What is this? What is this, Grandpa? Steel door to prevent patients escaping. I can't even talk to the woman. Dear my loving daughter Anna, I am doing well. The director and the nurses are all friendly. Life at the clinic is all good except for the one elderly man next door who keeps making a ruckus every day. They say I have a checkup tomorrow in the basement. I'll write to you again afterwards. Hello, Mr. Osborne. What's that? I don't know, bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, fuck yeah. Leather work knife. It's short, but the why would this be here? Okay. She does not seem... As you know, we will start the surgery and she does not care at all. Flanders all over again. Surgery notes of a nurse. Mary, we're going to begin Mr. Osborne's surgery at midnight today. You know the Gramps who keep saying the hospital's tainted and then he'll kill everybody. Uh, it said there will be a simple operation where some brain tissues are removed. Make sure to inject him with sedatives beforehand. We don't want him running wild again. And you keep a leather knife in like... Oh. I have played a lot of indie horror games, but I don't recall a single instance of, like, an item dropping in-game and in the forefront of your screen as well. That's pretty creative. 
It's a little thing, but, you know, I, I really don't think I've seen that ever. I've only seen that once before in a much worse game. What game? Wait, I can... Is it just making me take this? I wonder if there's going to be, like, a scale or something. Oh, maybe the bear trap? Why are you doing this? That's a good question, man. Real horror stories, a flash game Retsu Prey played. Director, if you're ever not going to pay for me this month either, I'm going to have to stop working here. I plead you to take care of it this month. Oh, by the way, a few patients have reported a sort of boiling sound in the corridor. You know, some people chill in the corridor, other people boil in the corridor after a heated argument. I administered sedatives to them as per the manual. Okay. Pretty neat game so far, but it is a little weird that, like, they do not seem to react to you having the knife at all. They seem rather nonchalant about this whole I-need-to-kill-everyone thing. I must kill them all? Okay, now they've got something. A broken knife? I don't think I can use this. Shit. Alright. Stop it. No, I'm not doing anything, brother. What? What do you mean the bear trap doesn't work on you? Okay, okay. I have failed the stealth segment, Pegasisters. Okay. All right. We, we managed to, uh, managed to turn that around somehow. To word lock, I must find three clues. Old letter from the director. This is Director Goldsworthy. Recently, there have been some undesirable incidents and negative rumors spreading. Please do not pay heed to these, but rather trust me and follow my lead a little longer. We will be having vaccinations at the basement treatment room every day for the staff. Please don't be late coming down there. Vaccinations every day, huh? Either there's a lot of staff or there's something weird going on. Steel box. The clue's inside. I need a screwdriver to open this box. Beach. Okay. Vax maxing? Yeah, dude. I hope my balls will get elephantitis after my 15th jab. Okay, so we need a door for the kitchen. That's the only woman so far that has not dropped... Uh, Oh, fuck. Woo! It's a lot like House. Yeah, that game was sick. Hopefully, I, I feel like maybe it's just me. But more and more awesome indie games are coming out. Like, obviously, they're, like, at a higher pace. Like, the, the pace is accelerating. So, hopefully, we're gonna have a lot to eat. Because people are... I think getting more knowledgeable about making this kind of thing and no relatives has a long history of being homeless this is us war veteran of the afghanistan war of 1840 as a military officer severely closed off to sharing personal details stress disorders due to war senile dementia 12 attempts of forced chemical treatment was made but to no avail frontal lobotomy is scheduled for april 30th heat okay so beach heat Desert? Letter to Robert. Robert, get me out of here. I'm really not kidding this time. The people are turning in a horrifying way. After they receive some treatment from the basement, they act like they are possessed by something. I don't want to undergo the treatment, but I can't hold it off anymore. By the time this letter reaches you, I might be like them. However, this might be the me that you want to see. Robert, I did many wrong things. I am sorry. It's my birthday. Rambo, first bloody stool. You want to know one of... Okay, oh, shit. Holy fuck. I don't have arachnophobia, but good god, man. Screams, too.
why the fuck is this in here? Now I think, like, maybe he's turning... The, the head of this clinic or whatever the fuck is turning people into weird-ass spiders or using them as food for the spiders or something like that. <laughs> Season. Beach heat season. Summer? Yeah, okay. Makes sense. How do I use this? Oh. I was thinking I was gonna have to, like, actually rotate the little dials there. Okay. Alright, I figured out tech. You ready? didn't work that time. Oh. I'm not going to explain what I was trying to do because now I, I realize it doesn't work. At least you have Wolverine healing factor. Yeah. Yeah. I have the distinct impression that if I die in this, I'm going to have to restart though. This does not feel like a checkpoint kind of game. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Thanos is here. Thank you, Renathan, for gifting us up to Renolethin. Appreciate it. Thank you. Letter from the Boiler Engineer. Dear Chief, this morning there was a request sent from the Goldsworthy Clinic that their boiler broke down. As they said, the clinic was deep in the woods. The staff members were very friendly. I even got a cup of tea to drink. The boiler room was deep inside the basement, but it was a little strange, especially the smell. The smell of something rotting filled the place. In one room, there was blood on the floor, and the saling was full of sacks hung from it. They said it was pork that they were storing. I wondered if they'd really consume that much meat. Okay, so humans called long pork sometimes. So uh, maybe, you know, they did say pork. But the question is, like, what is? what are the dimensions of said pork? The boiler was fixed quickly by exchanging a valve. But I suddenly thought to myself, do people really store butcher meat in sacks? When I asked this question, question the staff member's expression changed into a horrid look. I didn't inquire further. I first made my way to the first floor to write this letter to you, Chief. As soon as I make my way back, I'm going to send this letter, then go to the police department. You don't need to worry from William. Okay. He's fixated on it. I mean... I can't blame him. Holy shit! Okay. Oh... <clears throat> Where the fuck is it? Oh. <laughs> Director's journal entry. March 12th, 1905. There's a rotten stench overpowering the construction site of the annex in the backyard. To add insult to injury, there was a report of a tooth being found in a patient's meal. What is going on? May. What is the date today? Last month, eight patients died at once. I don't know the cause. For the time being, I bribed the police and covered it up as being a food poisoning incident. The innocent employees at the green room were detained. October 1905, many employees and patients left the clinic. The only ones left are severe grade patients and staff who have nowhere to go. It's difficult to even pay the wages. I can't close the clinic. I can't leave a record of failure in my life. Never seen a game you socked here. Come stains is a navigational clue. I've seen like the idea of um, like stains like that denoting a hidden path, but not in this way. Not like cum. Big guy with it before it breaks. The weapons only break when you change floors. At least so far that's been the case. I'm curious what the bags are about. You can pick them up and do things with them, but I don't... I don't know what for. Night. Oh shit. I'm so focused on my 
on, on shooting these guys. I didn't realize there was a bear trap there. What's going on, Zilla? How are you, dude? Found a new a newt? I mean, that would be kind of cool. Little newt friend. Little homie. Stand by us in trying times. Uh-oh. You should have listened. You shouldn't go there. Ooh, that was close, dude. How's Whataburgans been for you? I had it last night. It was pretty good. They knew I wanted to die at Coke ahead of time because, uh... Maybe go there. I, I really don't feel like I have been going there that often like once a week so the fact that they remember this shit is astonishing to me just there a couple weeks ago i did have a bit where i went multiple times in a row but i've only had it once like the last week or so three times and already all the ball bartenders know me my name brutal well i feel like all right i'm not talking shit about bartenders but i think like if you were being cynical about it and you were like, I, this is my job, I want to get a lot of tips, you know, maybe you should remember things about your patrons, maybe. But I don't know. Some people are also just friendly. Not everyone's doing it for ulterior motives. Maybe I just tipped well or something? Yeah, yeah. Probably shouldn't just assume the worst of people, but I don't think it's that irregular is what I'm saying. Especially if you're talking to them and stuff. Pairing hammer, it's too small to be used as a weapon. Okay, but what if I want to use it? For other things. January 11th, 1906. By chance, I came across a hidden space in the basement. This may have been the quarantine room in the previous mental clinic, but if I renovate it, I think I can use it as a treatment room. Rusty tin kettle. There are many pock marks in it. Okay. The hammer could probably be useful for that. Oh, there's a lot going on now. I'm always nice for tips. Okay, Joel. It sounds out of character. It does a little bit, doesn't it? January 22nd, 1906. Afterwards, Donald became a different person. He participated in the new building's constructions without being tardy. His face was filled with smiles. The staff liked Donald being like this. I haven't told anybody about what happened before. What did happen? Wait, what's going on? Financial YouTube guy in Austin calls Whataburger trash, but he's from Michigan? Oh, I don't really give a shit. Um, you, you shouldn't let other people... Uh, determine how you like things, right? I do think sometimes, like, our love for Whataburger and it being 24 hours and being able to get a burger at, like, 4 in the morning gets misconstrued as, like, this is the best burger ever. It is God's gift to man. Like, it's still fast food. I think it's better than the other fast food places, but it's not, like... I think some people go into it expecting, like, some fucking, like, gourmet burger. I put the key to the steel rack on top of the picture frame. You are tall, so you should be able to reach it without a problem. If you can't, try using any stick. I'm from Michigan, and Whataburger is the best fast food I ever had. Oh, shit. Shit. Wait. Ooh. Huh? <laughs> what just fucking happened? I'm kind of confused. It's always made me want to try. It's really good, but it's, like I said, just don't... It is fast food. I think, like, honestly, I'm surprised because a lot of people have told me they tried it, and I would figure more people would be like, What a burger fucking sucks! Fuck you! Why do you like this shit? But I feel like the overwhelming... Amount of people who've tried it have liked it. 
I guess the ones who didn't probably are, are not gonna be, hey, I fucking hate this, fuck you, Tolo, sort of shit, but... I'm looking for something on top of a picture frame, right? Feel about Red Robin? Red Robin's weird because it's good, but only if you know what to order. Like, if you get the cheap burgers there, I don't think it's particularly tasty. But they have, like, this fucking... Like, some of their specialty burgers are actually really good. Renovated the abandoned mental hospital and opened this rehabilitation clinic. There are a lot of things to do in my last years. Freud's interpretation of dreams is wildly popular. Dr. Freud says that the fear and feelings of dread can overcome a conver conversation treatment. How stupid is he going to make people with a cold better with conversation too? No problem can be solved without touching the brain. There are too many things to prove. We have many new employees and patients. I am planning to build an annex in the backyard. Opening Whataburgers in my state soon. Hope they're as good as the one in Texas. Are Whataburger fries good? Whataburger fries are alright. I think uh, Whataburger fries are probably my least favorite part of the Whataburger experience. The burgers are good. The chicken is good. But the fries are all right. Well, they're not bad, but like if they're... Have you ever had like um, fries that are really good if you actually get them like genuinely fresh? Like right out of the fucking thing. But they, they get cold and kind of like like mid really quickly, even if it hasn't been all that long. I think they're really susceptible to that phenomenon. More so than other fast food fries. Wow, I'm a little bit flummoxed right now. I should go read that note again, because clearly I've missed, I've missed it. My friends go to the most bizarrely picturesque quarter pounder from McDonald's. It was so unreal. It looked exactly like they do on the menu. I like Whataburger. Just my appetite's too small for it. I mean, you don't have to get a triple meat, triple cheese. You could get like a like a single patty burger, and that's like a normal human being thing to do. I like the triple, but, like, I remember one time a really obese woman was like, You're skinny. How do you eat a triple meat, triple cheese Whataburger back when I was a teenager? Nobody would really say I'm skinny now. But it's not... I don't know. It's not like everyone just eats that, right? I think Bruner, like, Bruner really likes Whataburger, and he was talking about how he can't put away a triple. Um, yeah, you just kind of have to be fucked in the head. Hunger for chicken sandwiches right now. This must be the thing. This has to be the spot. Okay. You should be scared of the amount they eat. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been called the Wolverine on several occasions. Kill me? Okay. <laughs> Color. Okay, darkness and color. Um, black. It's probably black because the first letter was B, but I feel like I should find the clue. I feel like I'm missing out if I only get two of the clues, right? I suppose it could be brown, but like, I don't know. I feel like black would m be more traditionally associated with darkness. Maybe that's just me. Okay, it was indeed black. Oh. Okay. That's not great. The spiders are, are, are people. Run out of bullets in this? No, I think you have... I think you have infinite ammo, infinite uses of any weapon until you're done with the floor. Some of these guys look like weird goblins. But, uh, hold on. 
like the enemy variety. Yeah, this is uh, this is a pretty good experience so far. I actually get to keep my gun this time. It didn't break. Director's journal entry, February 14, 1906. I purified 24 people. As of today, the method was simple. Bring the people to the basement, put them in that hole, telling them it's for treatment. The purified people change without exception. Their greed and complaints disappear, and they become pure like a newborn baby. The number of staff and patients left now is 31. It's almost reminiscent of the fear and hunger. Wah! Glass break. Stop! Don't say that shit, man. I miss WAP? Oh, okay. Weird ass pop it app. Oh, fuck. I thought I was gonna be able to get around it. I was wrong. Graphite sap and many internal organs. So like a pencil tree golem? Oh, fuck. That was not good. These people count as undead? I don't know about that. Like if you're like a like a person fused with a spider, you I think you're something, but not undead. Now there is one left, an elderly man named Osborne. He violently resists. I've been trying to drag him down to the basement for months, but it hasn't been easy. Now we have no time. I will extract this man's frontal lobe and finish this. I'm going to block that strange hole and restart the clinic's operations. In this glorious kingdom, the glorious research will resume. You know, I... That felt like he was a different kind of enemy. Maybe I should have... Take it a moment to... Oh god, I can get a knife instead of a gun? Should have seen what was going on with that guy. Okay, oh wow, I see. It's neat how these little shortcuts are here, but you will be... There's no way you would fucking go that way on a first run. notice the maybe it's just me but i feel like the heartbeat in the background is getting faster what have i done god throw me into the embers of hell i tried to install explosives with staff to fill the hole they gave me frightening glares they choked me and tried to beat me to death my loyal staff no i actually knew it too they are it must be stopped it must be stopped before something comes out of that cursed hole we've all had pregnancy scares before but there's a right and wrong way to approach the situation think that this guy's uh, maybe not handling it the best. Wait. Box with explosives is enough to- Shit. Oh, fuck. Holy fuck, dude, that puncher. The range on those guys, Jesus. Ooh, that was getting dicey. The music stops and it's just this. Alright, alright, it's okay. You can come with me, lady. Let's go. She wants to play Operation. I suck at that game. I don't want to do shots with you, bitch. Shut up. 
On May 1st, 1906, a fire broke out in the Goldsworthy Rehab Center on the outskirts of Sheffield. All 55 people, including staff and patients, died in the fire, and there were no survivors. It's me in the morning. Me too, dude. Been having such a tough time getting up in the morning lately. After extinguishing the fire, the police found an elderly man near the center who was deemed the suspect. As proof, he submitted the journal of Director Goldsworth. He said that the journal held the heinous acts of the director as well as the context of the case. However, the only evidence in the case, this director's journal disappeared into thin air during the trials. Hello, Thanamir. As the evidence vanished, there was no way of proving the elderly man's innocence. Most of the jury deemed this to be a crime committed by the man out of insanity. The day before the final verdict, the elderly man passed away. He was shouting that everybody must die until his last breath. As such, the truth of the fire at Goldsworth, Goldsworthy Rehab Center disappeared in the shadows. I like how it's sort of left ambiguous as to whether or not you were, like, insane. Or if that shit actually happened. Um, maybe he was seeing people as monsters sort of thing. But I guess there was a physical journal that also vanished into thin air. So that's just, that kind of suggests that it was, a, like, a real thing that happened. Yeah, you know, considering the dev is Korean, there were very, there were like relatively few mistakes. Um, the grammar was good, so that was pretty good. I like that game a lot. It was a good one. Sounds like lizard people. Completely forgot that was Korean. Yeah, yeah. Korea fighting. I was watching League of Legends last night. Like I was watching the Korean league and. Someone started doing, like, one of the casters, like, Korea fighting really loud. And it, it's honestly, like, kind of cringe. <laughs> I don't like using that word. But I, like, I don't know. It was it was rough to listen to. I was like, damn. Need to mute this one, maybe. I think they were just joking around, but I don't know. It's been a while since I've had that sort of reaction. Sometimes there's no better word to use. Big oof. Really have to piss. I really gotta piss. The Maple Story song, Uno Mas. I feel like this is uh, this is probably a good place to stop, though, right? I don't have that much left. Like, I, I'm worried that if I play another, it's going to be, like, the worst game ever that everybody wants, that everybody kind of wants to, like, die. Seems good to me. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, I think we'll probably call it here. It's a good stream. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Uh, take it easy. Have a good start to your week. Later.